Well, well, well. Hello there, fair spuddies, my friends in arms, my tubers under the ground, my people, my family, my camarades in arms. We are to return to streaming to finish this game, the game that uh, you just lost, by the way, you just lost the game. Any game losers in chat? Press X if you just lost. Um, so uh, where we left off, the map was not supposed to be revealed. Oh, right. I revealed the map to make a screenshot for the thumbnail and then forgot to reload the game. Well, there you go. That's how I make my thumbnails. I, uh, I reveal the map and then I take a screenshot on the bottom left uh, and then I... I try not to spoil myself too hard. I'll just see the shape of the map. I don't actually see where things are. Forth from the barrel of <clears throat> but there you go. Sneak peek behind the scenes discovered. on how I get those cool map pictures. Um, oh yeah, I should close the developer tools as well. I forgot I had those open. Let's make sure we're not cheating. So vast and mysterious has grown smaller and more familiar. Alrighty. Uh, yes, welcome back. Uh, I haven't been on this stream yet. I've been busy. Could you summarize the whole thing? Absolutely. We randomly generated an insane map that puts all of the good land in the hand of city-states and all of the bad land in the hands of the regular players. You can see over here Paris is in a incredibly snowy area and our good friend Babylon spawned on a very, very small island, as did we. We also spawned on a very small island. However, we managed to get Mausoleum of Halicarnassus and control of Auckland, making this somewhat respectable uh mapuche spawned over here and i'm pretty sure sumeria might actually still only be on one city uh and based on well sorry yeah here based on his yields it looks like he may actually still only have one city yet to research cartography he is in dire straits i was just watching your humankind patch video i'm super excited for the new humankind patch by the way it's gonna be it's going to be great if I'm impersonating old Tonio El Tiger. Now, here's the thing. How many art museums have I finished? Now, can I tab through cities like this? How about like this? Art museum. I got a few art museums. I got a few. You know, and there's more finishing. So it could be in my favor if we are going for a tourism victory to start running some theater square festivals. Now that is, oh, Kilwa. Hello, Kilwa, uh, my old flower. That's an 18 turn Kilwa. Where should I build Kilwa? Let's have a little bit of a think about that. Let's go through the cities. Uh, I'm looking for the fastest Kilwa. There's a 17 turn, turn Torres in here. 17 turn Torres kind of has appeal. Don't forget they give you... Yeah, I think I reckon this is the best place to get Kilwa. Boom. It's an 18 turn kill. We definitely want that. Uh, what were you talking about? <clears throat> okay, so reveal the map early. That's okay. It happens often. The game is based off Civ series game right... That means concepts mostly aligned, if not mirrored. Ah, uh, what? Enjoying this map, Potato. Thank you, Jennifer. And hello, WDS739DS. Good to see you, buddy. David Gray should be the governor of Babylon. Honestly, it would be kind of cool to see... I, it would be cool if somebody built like a really nice governor mod where they added more governors. Or just like completely rebuilt all of these governors up from the ground. Um, that'd be kind of neat. I think I'm going to harvest the stone to speed up the harbor. Then put a mine on that tile. I think that's a totally reasonable thing to do. Now, what do I want to do with my trade routes? Right now, a lot of my trade routes are heading towards my capital. But I do think it's about time that we consider trading internationally from my capital or something like that. Um, where's Reina? Well, Reina isn't really anywhere. So, like, we could do some pretty good international trade routes, get up some uh, alliances, maybe plug in Vissel Banking in the near future. We are going to want international trade routes in the long run. So, it's probably a good idea. I think this trade route was going to the capital. Like, if I take a look at this city, I think I don't need... Inter now that I have Auckland, I don't need internal trade routes anymore to build up, so I can switch to an entirely external build, which also means that Magnus might fall off a little bit here. I will actually chop to get the Kilwa two turns sooner. 
Um, two turns might not seem like much, but it is an eternity when you're playing Civ sometimes. Man, I got my Caraval in deep. Bro, I am going deep here with this Caraval, and I'm going to continue to go deep because there might be interesting information back here. Uh, what's this about projecting trade routes? I never protect them because I don't know you could or needed to. Yeah, your trade routes can be pillaged sometimes, so I was protecting my trade routes from being pillaged. Uh, that was basically... Oh, Kilwa just went... Well, Sajg. We could build Torres de Belim, although it will not have that much value for me because basically everything is settled on the same continent. But... There is no harm in building it because it is worth plus four fate. Why is it worth plus four fate? Ah, because Islam is in my city, right? Is that an Islamic thing? Yeah, all wonders provide plus four faith. Uh, perfect. I have to kill a fish to get it, which I don't want to do, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I have a campus, I have a harbour, I have a theatre square. The only thing I'm missing is a water park. So this city actually can now go ahead and just start spamming theatre squares for me for the foreseeable future in order to increase my culture and also get me more great works. In particular, I'm looking for great works of art right now. Um, so that'll be good. I think I can safely drop Diplomatic League and as much as I want to have Charismatic Leader plugged in, I do think it's important for me to have frescoes. I need to get those artists um, ASAP right now. Get that tourism ball rolling. Now, who am I trading with? I am trading with Victoria and Canada. So I'd like to trade with Babylon as well. Get those trade routes open. Our tourism is going to start coming in very quickly. So it'll be a good idea. I could build it, but killing the fish would cost me my soul. No, you're not wrong. You're very, 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 very not wrong. Um, fortunately, not a very good city. Are there any good city-states that give tourism here? Hold on. Nihangs. No, no tourism city states. So that kind of makes my game a little bit harder. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the water mill and the granary. That'll give the city the growth and production that it needs to excel. Um, and we are going harbor first because trade routes are the best thing in the world. Go hang out on those crabs. You settle here. A very nice harbour. Boosh. Uh, and then you will go monument granary. Sorry, granary monument in coastal cities. Granary monument harbour. Like that. Get those fishy tiles online. There you go. Very nice. Won my first DD game with Germany party hat. Congratulations. Well done. And I'm glad for you. Uh, Germany is a fun save to win the game on. I've been kind of thinking about... You know, I was thinking about we could do... So one thing that has been kind of mulling around my head is that there are a lot of builds that you can't do on higher difficulties because the AI kind of stops you from doing them. And I was thinking maybe we could go down to a lower difficulty so I could sh like in a, in a in a maybe a series or maybe in a game and I could show off one of those builds, those interesting builds that you don't usually get to see. I am going to build a Tori de Belim here or am I going to build more settlers? I really want to build Tori de Belim, but it's five turns for settlers. I could get three settlers for this. Three cities would be huge for settling like over here and stuff. Especially if I could get maybe a cultural alliance with... Uh, who is the orange player again? If I could get a cultural alliance with France and settling over here becomes a breeze. And I think that's maybe what we're going to do. Um, do I have the settler card plugged in? I do. So this is totally fine to do. And if I'm going for Settlers, then I'm going to need, in addition to Settlers, I'm, I'm going to need like a unit or two to protect them. So it's pretty deep into the game. Where are we technologically? We're around here. So crossbows won't cut the mustard anymore against barbs. Hmm... Ten dollars. Let's get like three skirmishers potato. to send out ahead of these settlers. There's a monster update for super auto pets out now. 
It's like 60 or 70 new pets. And you can build your own pack and fight against others who have built their own. Oh, that sounds amazing. I do need to get back into Super Auto Pets. I kind of kind of fell off on the old Super Auto Pets train there. I'm going to trade with Paris because I want that 25% boost towards tourism. And I also want to increase my relationship with her so I can get an alliance with her. Ideally, actually, you know, let's get that cultural alliance right now. Um, and that should make... Yeah, now I can settle beside her. Perfect. So that'll open up some settling options over here. And this is really my best path. Like, there's a couple of cities around here and stuff that I might be able to squeeze in. Um, but it's not looking great. Uh, I always play as Coupe, so my first settlers can sail off to a different island or continent while the other civs can't embark over water. Yeah, I get you. That's fun to do. Um, to kind of, like, do a scattershot version of the game it would, would kind of be fun if there was a version of the game where everyone started off with like like nomad like save six nomad you start with three settlers and three warriors but they're all um scattered around the map so you could choose to like walk them towards each other or just settle in place um i'll go for a research alliance with babylon i mean alliances are fine i do have a governor title and i'm Let's let's do a real investigation on what we could use it on. So we have Pingala essentially promoted to where we want him to be. You could go for grants. What city is Pingala positioned in? Pingala is positioned in this city, and it's making a decent amount of great people points. Like I mean, if we look at the campus, that's one, two, three scientist points, and that's another one, two, great rider. That's like three great rider points plus a um, three artist points. So you could maybe make an argument there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's something to be said of upgrading. That's a lot of. It's a lot of great. It's a lot of points. It's not that many points, though. I mean, like, would I be better off with upgrading a money? Doubles the number of envoys. Provides a copy of its luxuries. Accumulates strategics. Like none of these really appeal to me. None of the... I mean, Curator eventually will be good. I don't really see a reason to upgrade Magnus. I don't really see a reason to upgrade Liang. Maybe Aquaculture could... Is it is now the time for Aquaculture? Uh, I guess you could say it is. I thought I had sent a... Oh, right, a Hurricane swept through. Yeah. Um, let's get a six charge builder in there. Um, yeah, let's go for Aquaculture and, and get to work on that train. A little bit of the old aquaculture. Ah, uh, Mestripipaz. I, I, I completely butchered your, your name. But thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Pagala grants can be good because capital has lots of districts. And you're going for great people. Eh, I don't, I don't know if it's that good. Honestly. How's it going, Luca Looney? I am heading into a dark age, which might make things a little bit rough. Maybe I want to be in a normal age. How badly do I want to be in a normal age? Um, oh, I should... I don't have a majority religion. Damn, Chinguetti is so good. Let's take Mohanjadaro. We can do a little bit of levying if things are a problem. Speaking of levying, let's go ahead and sell off our resources for as much gold per turn as possible. Um, any strategic resource enjoyers? Oh, you guys are definite strategic resource enjoyers. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's sell off a little bit of this as well. There we go. That made up a little bit of extra cash. If you play a terror map as Coupe and settle on the other continent, isn't that so RP? Or should I say perfectly balanced? I actually did a, uh, a version of that not too long ago. I think it was my most recent Coupe game. I, I did that. Why is there an oasis in the... That's just part of the mod. The mod, the map mod does weird stuff with certain things. Being able to be placed in snow. It like, you know, screws around with things. 
um, to give a little bit of diversity to the map generation script. Don't think about it too hard. It's fine. You're fine. Buying a great person is worth points. Oh, we'll think about it. Trying to think about how do I get more error score? Gentle eruption. There's eight turns left here. I should really plan this out. Hold on. Uh, error tracker. Unique building. Well, I won't get the film studio for a while. I won't get the Rough Rider for a while either. Don't have these. Don't have these. Religion, adopt all beliefs. Mountain tunnel, seaside resort. These are all very late game kind of things. I could get a nicer unit. Yeah, I could get a nighter unit, maybe if I were to buy nighter. Oh, although it doesn't look like anyone actually has nighter. Or if anyone has nighter, they're not using it. Do I have musketmen unlocked? I don't. I'd have to research musketmen. I could do frigate, though. Didn't I have a quadrireme? I did. Yeah, let's talk to Lataro. How's it going, bud? I need 40 nighter off of you. 13 gold per turn is a very fair price, good sir. Boom. That should have been one era score. Okay, that was only one era score. Not bad. Um, what other things can we do? Why do you want to normal age? It's because I'm about to go settling. I'm about to go settling over here and I don't want the negative loyalty. I know dark ages are theoretically better, but I don't want to deal with like minus loyalty. Um, that is just not my vibe. Uh, pro strats play Cooper on a true start earth map settle all your cities on a few islands that get dominated by the England during the industrial era <laughs> uh, true uh, what about Poland true start with Russia and Germany yeah, that's just hard mode you're just playing the game on hard mode I'm sorry Poland IRL Poland playing on hard mode looking at this video um, sure you can have my horses you're in a golden age right now. The loyalty will be trash anyway. That's true, but I don't want it to be like... I don't want the swing to be as bad as it will be. You know what I mean? I want to, I want, I want a soft landing for my empire. You know what? I'm not going to try to get a golden age. You know what? Welcome to the dark ages, baby. We're going to live in the grim dark ages. He is as intelligent as he is flippant. Is what I like to tell myself. Um, Auckland, nice one. We go ahead and grab that. Yeah, baby. Oh God, I'm remembering cringe moments from my teenage years. Why is my brain doing this to me? Stop. Ugh. 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 Jesus. Oh, now this. This is big. We found a city state that will allow us to generate tourism. Beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. This is a game changer. Jeez, and we found Leventa. Oh my god, living the Vida Leventa. Another. Yeah, settling was the right choice. I'm very happy now. If I go for technology in one era, should I go for tech the next era too, or can I shift? What? I don't know what you're asking. Hello from Denmark. There do you live, potato? I live in the fair green island of Ireland. 
where the leprechauns roam free. And men in tracksuits ask you for bus fare. Um, <clears throat> right, we have art museums. That might just be a Dublin thing, though. Uh, we have we have art museum, we have harbour. We should get the entertainment complex, and so we will. But I am waiting for a chop on that, so I'll do medieval walls first. We lock up our leprechauns here. You sick mother... Something wrong with you. Locking up. You should be the one locked up. That's my take. Hi, right, can I borrow one book from the bus? No, nah, you've got it. You've got to like tell a sad story. You can't just be like, "Hey, do you happen to have a euro for me to get on the bus?" It has to be like. Astani man, I need to get the bus to go see me man hospital. Do you have a euro? <clears throat> that's how that's how you should deliver it. Me man's in hospital. <laughs> I need a couple of euro to stay in the hospital tonight. Which I again I don't want to make too much fun of though because like a lot of those people are in like really shitty situations like realistically, um, but it is a bit of a meme to make fun of them like you know a lot of, like you know no no but like you know people it sucks to be in a position to be begging like let's be real um, but they inconvenienced me while I was going about my day so I'm allowed to make fun of them <laughs> the true take. Enlightened take. Jesus, this is just filled with barbs. I'm going to get a normal age without wanting to. I have no idea what you just said, like when a Welsh guy starts talking fast and drunk. Sure. What are you bringing up the Welsh for? There's no Welsh people here. You've been spending far too much time out and about in the world acting like you've got notions about yourself thereby. You'd want to wind that neck in before someone winds it in for you. You're chipping very close to the iron there now. I don't think anyone has ever said that to me. I made that one up to fuck with you guys. No one says chipping close to the iron, okay? Don't actually think people say that. Uh, I'm going to trade with Egypt as well. So I have a trade with most of the saves in the game now, I think. I think six out of the seven saves I have a trade with. One, oh, I'm missing Lautaro in Sumeria. Alarm, alarm, industrialization is going to give you error score. You say that like I'm a person, who cares? You've been watching all this time and you still haven't realized just how little of a damn I give. You don't truly know who I am. You don't know who you're messing with. I was in Dublin about a week ago for a school trip and I was really impressed by the public transport. Jesus Christ, you must have fucking absolutely god-awful standards. Okay. Who are you dating? It oh, must be like some one-eyed... <laughs> one-eyed person. It's actually just half a person that you're dating. You're just dating like half a person. That's the standard you're at. <laughs> ah, yes. And I, I mean like hemisected bilaterally. It's just like, like it's half a corpse, you know? I didn't mean to imply that one-eyed people are lesser, by the way. Feels bad. I had to, I had to transition it into being literally like a, a half corpse. Well, the corpse only smells a little bit, guys. Come on. It's not that bad. It's like, okay, calm down, buddy. Um, Uh, but yeah, I mean, public transport in Ireland is, it's okay sometimes. <laughs> it's okay sometimes. 
$5. It's not the worst. And zero cents chip and close but it to the iron sure does feel like it a lot of the time. All the time. Chip and close to the iron is my new favorite thing that I'm going to say all the time. I think it might actually be a golf thing. Potato beat com COVID and now pumping out content like the world's going to end. Hell yeah. Pumping out com content like I, well, I was going to say I, you know what? Let's leave that one. Let's leave that one on the wayside. What am I doing with this government? Am I going for public works? Um, I want fresco. Let's let's do. I want retainers. I want Republican legacy. I kind of want to plug in liberalism. I don't have liberalism. How do I not have liberalism? Am I stupid? I have Medina Quarter, but not liberalism. Um, I want frescoes. I mean, I could live without frescoes, but I kind of want them. I like them. They're good. What's your favorite victory type? <laughs> the one I do. No, no, not the one I do. No. It's not got to stay away from the mom jokes. Um, I like playing tourism. Tourism is my favorite victory type. Um, public works works for me. Uh, and then let's get started on the old entertainment complex. I'm new to this game. It looks addicting. Okay, it looks addicting because it oh, is addicting. Addictive? Addic addictive? Addicting? Is it addicting or addict? I've lost count of my sanity. It's gone. We lost it in the breeze. Go there. Entertainment complex. Sound illegal. Oh, Jesus. That's uh, that's a danger. I didn't even realize you were making that joke, Crackles. See if it's the most addictive out game out there. It's all it is. Just one more turn. There's something about it. There's just a... A, a, a visceral satisfaction of like moving little people around and getting them to do like interesting like oh I'm going to build a library here I'm going to educate my people and there's also kind of like that weird little like everyone has like and listen if you haven't ever dreamt of being like the dictator of the world like the guy who's in power it's like if I was in charge I would you know the buses run on time or whatever, whatever your, uh, we have industrialization, but whatever your little dream is, right? You, you, I, I just don't believe you're a real person if you've never had that thought. Like everyone has had that thought. That's a thought that everyone has at some point. It's like, I, if I was in charge, I'd make, and like Civ lets you be the guy in charge, which is like what's so powerful about the fantasy of playing it, right? We have industrialization giving us plus one to our minds as well as coal. Um, uh, not too much stress no the goal isn't to be like politically in charge the goal is to just like instantaneously snap your fingers and reshape society to be what you uh, want it to be which probably explains a lot of political ideologies online um, you know people think that you know you know what would be great we just do X policy and X policy is whatever like the most recent thing they've heard that made sense to them was um, and that that is going to completely fix society and that we should have a revolution over it. You know, just like, let's calm down, okay? Actually being a leader takes a little bit of work. Also, I do have Huey with the really, really good Giga Lake. Let's, uh, well, you know what? Maybe we won't do that. What we will do, though, is we'll come into the capital and buy ourselves more settlers because I need to get those cities out. Um, uh, what's the map settings? This is a map mod. So it feels really good to play until the AI takes your wonder on the last turn of the Barb Scout pops out to steal your settler. True. What victory are you aiming for? I'm aiming for a tourism victory. I'm going to try and beat the game. Beat the world. Well, America, like, here's the thing. The film studio is just so powerful, it's hard to ignore. It's 100% tourism after the modern era or whatever. Like, it's just so good that it's hard to actually really think about it. Like, not going for it. Right. Amphitheater. I'm just going to... Ooh, I can't afford to buy the amphitheater. Could I perhaps afford to buy the amphitheater if I... Bing, 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 bing. Sold off some resources. Um, let's do a little... Little sell in here. Boom, amphitheater, great work of writing. Now that I have quite a few great works of writing, perhaps it would be a good idea to pick up printing because this will double the tourism yield of these. Uh, out of curiosity, actually, another question I should ask is, can I buy, uh, uh, I will grab those luxuries, can I buy 
some great works of writing and I can yoink yoink and I won't grab a third one because I have my own third one CCGP Gray's rules for rulers yeah it's a good video an entertaining video you know who else makes good videos my boy potato McWhiskey sub to him on YouTube Go to youtube.com forward slash potato muck whiskey. He makes great content. You should absolutely watch it. Uh, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. An enormous and lofty column of flame. Allow. Wait. Ooh, I found I a little yuckle. I a little yuckle. Ay 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 yokel. What happened to CGP Grey? Maybe YouTube isn't recommending them to me. I think he makes a video like once a year. CGP Grey, click. Uh, let's not dox him. You know what? Hex. Oh, he's been doing lots of shorts. Last video three. I've watched all of his recent videos. I mean, let's be real. His good videos have been recommended. Uh, Five dollars and zero cents, the best thing I've learned from your videos. You can fight back from being down. Never give up and adapt. Thank you for teaching us all so much. And you know what? That concept applies to real life too. You can fight from the ground. It's hard though. You gotta like, you gotta like hook the leg around the knee. Put your hands up, protect your head. All right, MMA fighters will know this. Never let somebody get uncontrolled access to your head. They will treat it like a basketball. It is non uh, But yeah, you can fight. You can always, you can always do something, no matter what position you're in in a game. I mean, now there, are, like, there are times. There are times where you just got to look at a game and you got to make a calculus decision. It's like, you know what? This just isn't fun enough. <clears throat> this just isn't fun enough for me to care to continue. And that's a fair decision to make. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, if you want a culture victory, aren't you going to need a lot of faith? Nine, mein Kamerad, das ist la venta und... Rapa Nui, the Moai improvement and Colossal Head. Say good, say good. We would only need builder charges to win the game. YouTube has a weird priority with for new content out of, no, out of nowhere. Yo, du kannst Deutsch? Ja! Guten, guten Tag, meine Kameraden. No, I can, I can do pretend German. I can't actually speak like anything remotely German. Um, I can I can make myself sound German to English speakers. That's my that's my ability right there, baby. Hell yeah! <clears throat> Disaster games. Do you still do those? Ostensibly yes, but actually no. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's just like you know, I never get around to it. <laughs> ich liebe. I don't know what that word that last word is. That sounds. Is that cheese? You love cheese. I'm liking German with an Irish accent. Ah, that's good. That's wonderful. On a scale of 1 to 10, can I borrow $5? Are you down bad right now, Bose? You need money? You got $5 for rent or something? I don't know. Are you... I mean, sure, you can have $5. Or is that was I supposed to say nine? Behold the How long? Of the heaven. My favorite wonder, my favorite natural wonder. Your embassy is a welcome addition to our capital. Okay. 
Potato, do you have an educated guess as to when Civil 7 is coming out? Let's let's do the math, okay? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Firaxis Games uh, Wikipedia. Right? So if we look at Firaxis Games, let's have a look. Where is their list of games by Firaxis Games, right? Educated guess. We have a few games here. So Civ Beyond Earth was 2014. Civ 5 was 2010. And Civilization 6 was 2016. And then we've got Marvel Midnight Suns coming out in the third or fourth quarter of this year. I think it was delayed. Maybe I could be wrong. So likely what's happening at Firaxis. Now, this is just speculation, okay? I don't actually know this, but they probably have. Uh, they're probably having an all hands on deck sort of a thing where maybe a couple of people that were working on whatever the next Civ project is are being shifted over to Marvel Midnight Suns because that's the priority. The project needs to get out there. It's a big ticket game. It's based in the Marvel Universe. It's uh, part of their XCOM style flagship series. So that's like an important enough thing to get out. Now, the last Civ 5, 5 patch was Brave New World Civ 5. Okay, Civ 5, sorry. Civ 5 Brave New World came out in July of 2013, okay? So approximately three years or four years after the initial release of Civ 5, okay? So uh, we can expect in a year to probably hear about whatever the between game is. Not the flagship civilization game, but the between game. So I would be very surprised if by the end of 2022 and I would be shocked if by the end of 2023 20, we hadn't heard about the between Civ game. Now the between Civ game is usually things like civilization beyond earth, civilization colonization. Uh what was the other what was the other ones? Um uh, Alpha Centauri, right? These between games um, so I would be shocked if we didn't hear about, if we didn't hear about it by the end of 2023. And if we hear about it in 2023 or 2022, um, we will likely see the game released. I'm like, it's, I'm going to, I'm going to give a curve here. There's like a 10% chance it comes out in 2024. There's like a 40% chance that it comes out in 2025. There's like a 60, like... If it doesn't come out by 2026, I, I would be blown away. That would be like it. That would that would be like how I would make the call. That we're tw like 20. If we don't have a Civ game by 2026, what have they been doing? Is my question. So that's uh, that's the best answer I can give you, right? Because I I can't give you any certainty. I don't have any like. It's, that's just extrapolation of the data. Firaxis is very reliable, very dependable. They're very predictable. in Not in like what they will do, but when they will do it. Firaxis is very easy to predict the when of when they do things. Um, like, for example, they usually release their patches on a certain day of the week. They usually release their developer diaries on a certain day of the week. They, they follow patterns. They're very... They're very regular in how they do things. So it's actually... I think it was actually... I think Marvel Midnight Suns was delayed, which was a surprise to me because Fraxis usually doesn't delay games as far as I'm aware. Um, which to me uh, sounds like they had, I mean, I don't know, maybe uh, some issues cropped up in development. I think part of it was, was probably COVID. Um, that would probably play a big, because I imagine a big part of that game's development happened during COVID because like you think about it, XCOM Chimera Squad came out in what, 2019, right? Um, oh, we have the Venetian Pogger Arsenal. City, which in time of peace Poggers, so what song? Well, I guess I'm not going to play any songs because I don't want to get copyright claimed. I want you to play uh, a really, really cool song in your own head, okay? But don't tell anyone about it. All right, we do have access to printing now. Ooh. What, what if... Uh, do you want slash intend to try BBG at some point? I... Yes, I, 
I like mods. My worry is, here's my worry, right? I, I have two concerns when I go into modded games. My first concern is, I want the game that I'm playing to as closely resemble something that the viewer will be able to play themselves unmodded as possible, okay? So usually I'm okay, like in terms of gameplay. So I'm okay with UI mods. I'm less okay with gameplay mods. Um, now, why the hell were we going for nationalism when we should be going for conservation? That's a great question. Um, speaking of going for conservation, now that I have Renaissance walls unlocked, I do think it's about time that I started spamming out walls. Um, I lost my train of thought. So good luck. But whatever you ask me. Or I'm sorry. I don't remember what you asked. Ha! Sneaky trick. Boom. Swap the tile. Place the fishery. Swap the tile back. And now we've got a four food, two production tile, which is like maybe a slight upgrade. Did you know if you connect your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you can get a free sub that you can use on your favorite streamer? Oh my God, Bose. I did not know that. Tell me more about this. It sounds like a prime idea, like a, like a Twitch prime idea. I asked PPG if you wanted to play it at some point. Yeah, I might play. I might play. I, I would like to play PPG, but the problem is that I would eventually run into the issue that um, I want the game that I play to, to resemble as closely as possible what uh, a viewer will play without any modifications. And so if I play a modded game, it might confuse the viewer, etc. I don't know. <clears throat> How do all of your ocean tiles have two food and three production? All of my ocean tiles have three food and two production because I am playing the game well and you're not. Get wrecked, scrub. Absolute nerd. Get better at the game. Destroyed. Skill issue. <laughs> Go back to mommy, loser. No. The reason that my uh, things are so good is because I have a lighthouse. Lighthouses give all of your coastal tiles plus one food. I also have the shipyard which gives all of your coastal tiles plus two production. And I have the city-state Auckland and I'm suzerain of Auckland giving another plus two production to all of my coastal tiles so that's why they have two food and three production and then all those extra yields as well um yes I hope that answers your question adequately I'm sorry that I <laughs> I woke up and chose violence this morning like oh my god so many primes so many premium users here it's beautiful now let's have a little bit of a, a thinky bear about where we're going to put our little old, our little old things. Uh, which is why you should give all your subs to Bostius. I mean, if you want to give your subs to Bostius, you can. It's okay. Uh, give it to your favorite streamer. Although, personally, I mean, like, I'm, like, I don't need, like, I don't need more money, right? I'm, I'm okay. Like, I'm going to be able to continue to do YouTube for quite a while so like if you right we're trying to strategically like man who do i give my sub to to like maximize the total amount of content made in the twitch slash save youtube space give it to both now i mean i'm not going to refuse your money because i can always use more money the more money i have the more i can put into savings the more i can put into the, the investments the more i can secure my future and continue to produce content without ever ha having to worry about stuff right um Plus, I want to buy a house. Twitch, buy me a house. Ten dollars and zero cents. This is for the Venetian Arsenal. Uh, do you think that preserves should be reworked? Stay fairly on average. Uh, do you, uh, thank you so much, Cloudy Crew, for the spotty and Angie Jimmy for the spotty as well. Eleven months. Thank you so much. Um, Arteezy, oh my god, Arteezy posters in the chat. Soft Killer is here. Thank you so much for the Prime. Um, banking. Uh, the only thing that is required, as a, as a, the only thing I ask is, um, if you're a viewer of my content, you never have to make it. All financial contributions are voluntary, okay? Like, if you want to give me money, give me money. I will accept it, okay? The most important thing that I ask is that don't be dumb in chat and watch my content. Because if you watch my content, I can make the money. I can use that to garner sponsorships. Like, believe it or not, 
I could theoretically... Oh, hold up. I could theoretically survive without any, you know, contributions from my viewers whatsoever based on like sponsorships, based on ad revenue, all that sort of stuff. So actually watching is the most important thing that a viewer does. Like that's the most important thing. Um, <clears throat> now, if you don't have a lot of time to watch and you still want to support me, throw me that Twitch Prime, throw me that YouTube membership, right? These are all totally viable things that are accepted, loved and appreciated as well. Um, but in an, in an attention economy, attention is the currency that I care about the most, unfortunately. we got to fund the bunny food. Let me tell you, that she eats a lot, so that's going to be a, a long-term fund. Buy YouTube Premium. Hell yeah, buy YouTube Premium. Turn off ad block. Morbus is shilling for me. Can I put you on a third monitor and don't watch? I don't know how that works. Potato for Taoiseach, Ireland enters the Golden Age. You absolutely do not want me as Taoiseach, okay? It would not go well. I'd immediately, like, I'd start going through and looking for, like, all right, let's 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 dig up all the old scandals, find out who was doing what, when and where. Yeah, it looks like the old, the old leader was doing X, Y, Z when he shouldn't have been doing it. I'm shilling for me, Scrub. You're shilling for me. Um... How did it catch one of this thing's things? Wow. Uh, so. Right, then blackmail them, get your house. No, I would just release it publicly. I'm an agent of chaos. I would like release all the uh, classified files and then immediately resign. <laughs> Deal with that, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> just like sail off into the sunset of the country goes up in cinders yeah that'd be a good ass meme So I think we're going to go ahead and settle he... Nah, let's settle one down. F it, dude. F it, dude. Nah, I changed my mind again. I want to go up one. I'm a, I'm a little capricious today, okay? I'm afraid for my time now, or lack thereof. I think I'm going to finally buy Stellaris because it's 80% off. Listen, bro, the new patch is quite good. Nice income level. What area are you currently in? We're just, we just entered the industrial era. What's your current strategy? Continue to mash end turn until the game ends. It's like the... It's every day, bro. You're just out here grinding save games, bro. Bruh. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you a serious analysis of my strategy here in a second. Whatever. Ban Catholicism. Catholicism? Can't believe I said it's wrong. And I'm Irish. Jesus. Blitten Jesus. Blitten Jesus. I'm going to ban incense because I'm that kind of guy. Let's get the incense ban going. Hell yeah. Ban it. Ban the incense. We are all in an oligarch. And oh my God. You used so much like buzzword salad here that I was unreadable. <clears throat> we are all in an oligarchy and capitalist dystopia. Don't know about anyone else. Islam and Wales. That's not what I picked. Well, I guess diplomatic victory is off the cards then, boys. Um, unfortunate. One of my big wishes for Civ 7 is to have an actually round planet with navigation travel distance. Ah, unfortunately, it is actually you actually can't make a sphere out of hexagons. So your dream is dead. You're going to have to like go back to the drawing board on that one, bud. It is geometrically, mathematically impossible to make a sphere out of hexagons. Sorry to be the one, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but at least I'm not the bear of bad news because the bad news bear, that's, you know, that's an entirely different affair. Um, a lot more clawing and mauling goes on with that delivery. Um, you can make one out of hexagons and pentagons though, that is true. Can't you just add a few pentagons and call it a day? Wait, can't you just add sauce? To a poo and it's a meal? No, you can't just add a few pentagons and make something work. You, it's the hexagons are noagons. 
Kind of just odd things. Do you know how mathematically? Well, you'd probably actually be fairly trivial if you spent some time on it. You make 12 penta pentagonal pivot points. Speaking of round plans, did you play that game that came out last year? I think it was called Before We Leave or something along those lines. I played it in early access um, and it didn't really grip me. So I kind of went somewhere else. Pentagons would be fine. It wouldn't be fine. You're all wrong. You're deranged. You've lost it. Pentagon enjoyers in my chat. I can't believe I'd see the day that I, there would be Pentagon enjoyers in my chat. Disgusting behavior. I've changed my mind again and I want to settle here. I need to make a decision. Okay, okay, listen. Last time I'm moving it. <laughs> he lies again. Now I want to go here again. No. Average hexagon enjoys. Hexagon is the best gun. It absolutely is the best gun. Another CGP Grey reference in my chat today. Chats have been popping off with their references. Guys, your references are out of control. Uh, let's get the theater square up always all praise the theater square uh ship yeared get her seals a holy a holy site we want a few holy sites just to generate a little bit of faith it's good to have a little bit of faith in the old late game for the tourism victory it is possible to do a tourism victory without faith though it's not great without faith but it can be done ideally you would generate faith in some capacity i'm starting to get too many builders i forgot that i don't have tiles to improve because i'm an entirely coastal empire and spamming builders was actually just you know straight up a mistake let's get some archaeological museums have i built a theater square in my capital i actually haven't what is wrong with me imagine liking hexagons okay put an x in chat <coughs> no don't put anything in chat put a five in chat if you like pentagons put a six in chat if you like hexagons. In fact, put the number corresponding to the number of sides of your favorite shape, okay? You like your triangle man? You put a fat three in that chat. Eight. Octagon enjoyers. What the hell? How can there be octagon enjoyers in my chat? One had a twisted design. Red on a green ground. St. Basil's Another Cathedral. Beautiful. Another Petra taken. There are far too many okay i would like the moderators to make sure take note of everyone who said anything other than six and and just begin timing out and banning everyone please thank you ha you idiots revealed <laughs> you revealed yourselves you fools what the hell did i lose i think i lost a builder imagine telling on yourself like that in chat Live on Twitch.tv. You gave away the game, you fools. You were tricked. You were tricked by an elusive penumbral Irishman. But I don't even know what the word penumbral means. I actually do know what the word penumbral means. I just need a refresher. Hold on. Penumbral. It has something to do... Yeah, space. Yeah. Maybe I'm not penumbral, but I would like to be. That's what counts. Best harbor is there. Delete. Let's go watermill, granary. That gets the growth. Then we go monument harbor. Um, let's kind of plan this city. Ten dollars and zero cents gonna trigger potato by sending him pictures of heptagons. I d if if I see a single heptagon in my DMs, I will go scorched earth. Okay. I will destroy any non-Euclidean geometry enjoyer. <coughs> I've lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go Moai here. Or wait. Mm. Moai are better for coastal games, so I'm going to go Moai. And they get me culture, which gets me closer to all important late game culture stuff. 
So while I do really like Leventa because of the faith, Because Rapa Nui is all about chopping and actually clearing land, I'm going to go for Rapa Nui instead. I'm not going to bother plugging in the extra Envoy card. At this point, I make so many Envoys that it's hard to compete regardless. So we basically need to clear cut the landscape in order to spam it with Rapa Nui uh, stones. Oh, hold on. Nightmare Alley, that is not what I typed into Google. What happened, Google? Google's gone downhill a little. I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, it used to be great. And now it's only okay. Earth is non-Euclidean, that's why you don't like TSL games? True. What governor do we want? I don't think it matters. We could maybe get a little bit of extra faith out of Moksha. Like, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think Moksha faith in a city is okay. Like, Chicago, it has one, two, three districts. That's six faith per turn. It's not the best one, but it's okay. Start making more great works of art. I like how Earth can produce things that are mutually exclusive to it. What? I could dominate using culture and science and even domination victory escape, but religion seems like a losing proposition for me. Religion is just kind of like, you have to think about, um, it, 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 in order to understand the victory conditions in Civ 6, you have to think about other games, right? A religion victory is like a six pool in StarCraft, okay? You pull all, you, you build like a minimal economy and then you pull all your workers and you shove them at your enemy um, with like, an all-in okay that's what a religion victory is it's about just trying to win early uh before your opponent realizes that you're winning um a science victory is just a macro game right that's a macro game so is it so is a uh, tourism victory right you're playing for the late game you're macroing it out you're improving your economy you're building uh you know a lot of workers for the love of unholy but jesus Where are my caravels at? What's that cliffs of Dover spawn? It's the <laughs> extremely el elusive islands of Dover. Oh yeah, I should probably get... I should probably start making my way towards Flood Barriers. That might be a good idea. It might be... Might be in my favour. It might even be advisable for me to get Flood Barriers. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Can. Or this is... You look like Canada, and I hate you for that, by the way, England. Just say in England, you look like Canada, and God damn, it's not a good look on you. Uh, let's talk to the Mapuche as well. I want to open borders. Thank you very much, my good sir. And then Sumeria, I don't know if I have open borders with, but I would like them. Uh, can you actually get to it? I, I think this might be... Yeah, you can. There's actually still a place you could walk up. Potato, do you still play Super Auto Pets? I need to get around to playing it again. I kind of took a little break. Took a little break. You know, just a little break. You know how it is. Is Leventa in the game? Leventa is in the game. Leventa is in the game. Um, but I'm going for Rapa Nui this game. So chop here. There you go. That's a nice and fat. <sighs> of course a frigate would spawn. Of course a frigate would spawn. That is just... I'm so angry I'm burping. Of course. I, even had maple, I haven't even had maple syrup today. Canada is England, England light. Uh, it's a bit bigger. Um, very hefty, hefty meal Canada would be. 
the new packs are crazy i definitely should go back and play super auto pets i kind of have an ephemeral relationship with games like i'll get into a game for a little while and then i'll be like this game doesn't exist anymore for another while and then i'll get back into it and be like how did i forget you you're my forgotten son and then i'll you know and then i'll forget about the game for a while and then i'll be like eh, this game is dumb and then i'll get into the game again it's like it's it's a process i go through with games you know uh happiness level negative excuse me can i get some luxurious resources here canada is too cold change my mind you're too warm change my mind yeah i didn't see that coming now did you no you didn't because all you think about is yourself <laughs> Okay, Renaissance walls on the way. I can't believe. How have I not got my factory? I need to plug in the wall card. At least it needs to happen soon. Soon to. Uh, God, my settler train has just been like completely obliter obliter obliterated. Um, I'm a simple person, potato. Uh, can I bother for a hello before I go to bed? Goodbye. Ed was talking about Super Auto Pets. What about, what about Rogue Tower? Actually, Certified Banger Rogue Tower. How many patches? Is that? I still have it installed. Patches. Let's have a look. April Fools, all April. The last update was the April Fools update. I sleep, bro. Give me a real patch. I basically exhausted the content of the game that I cared about. I'm I'm not interested in sitting there grinding the three-way map like yawn. Everything below 20 degrees C is too cold for me. Any tropical people in chat? Bro, how? Is it like the human body like 29 degrees inside? You're like almost at the temperature that homeostasis takes place at, bro. How do you like you need you need a temperature gradient in order to survive? Who is telling me not to settle near them? Get out of here, Babylon. Are you going for artifacts or relics? I'm going for artifacts mostly. Um, let's buy the amphitheater. Get the archaeological museum. I'm about to get natural history, so that's why I want my archaeological museums up. Um, are you a fan of Halo and you watching the show? I am a fan of Halo, but I'm not watching the show. Um... I like Halo, but I never had an Xbox, so I never really got into it in the way that I would have liked. Um, just sad, unfortunate reality. Anything above 15 is too high for me, Canadian blood. Yeah, for sure, I feel that. I don't know how people go around living in these extremely hot countries. It's insane to me. Far, 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 far. Can these be built? Hang on. Moaz. No, not in Snow and Tundra, unfortunately. Twenty degrees C. A communist. What's that in freedom units? I don't know. American like <clears throat> Amer <clears throat> Fahrenheit just doesn't make as much sense. There was like a thread. Where some bro was, I can't remember, maybe it was Hank Green or someone. It was like, Fahrenheit just makes more sense for human readable. Like 100 is too hot. And zero is it's too cold. And he's like, Celsius, 100, you're dead. Zero, you're dead. I was like, that's not how it works at all. You could be like, oh man, it's a warm day. And it'll be like 15 degrees C. But it'll only, but like it'll be like ninety percent humidity, you know, and it'll feel warm. I don't know. Uh, chop. Any choppers in chat? Any people out there chopping their wood? And well, let's not finish that sentence. It might convey a meaning that I didn't intend. Celsius and Fahrenheit are both. Uh, we should just use Kelvin. Yeah. How hot is it out there, honey? Well, 
It's 294 degrees. It's like, oh. <laughs> it feels like it's 200 and... <laughs> it feels like it's 298 out. <laughs> Let's get the archaeologist out. Uh, I have control of Rapa Nui. I would like Mahanjadaro because there is a little bit of housing in there. Um, it would be good to get Brussels. I don't care so much about Alor. I definitely want to maintain Auckland. So I'll just hold on to Envoys for now. Unless, uh, actually, Ayuthia is worth taking. This is always what Americans say. It absolutely makes more sense. C is good for science. F is good for human comparison. They always say that and they're just wrong. God. Americans being confidently wrong yet again. Name a more iconic thing. Alver uh, average Kelvin enjoyer. Empiric system needs to go. You need to go. N not the system. You need to go. Okay? You're the problem. The problem is in your mind. I think, like, there's nothing wrong with the imperial system. Like, it has, like, a lot of intuitive... The thing is, people people love to soy out and be like, Oh, look, the, the metric scale, it's so good. Oh, my God. But, like... <sighs> the imperial system isn't bad. Like, you know... Um, First, holy side, by the way, like, you know, a pound is, it feels like intuitively, if you grew up with a pound, like, you know, that's like a pretty, like a foot, nah, it's about yay long, like nobody, I guarantee you, right, somebody who was raised in Ireland could tell you ah, about a foot is about yay long, and they'll be within an inch. If you ask them how long is a meter, you're going to get insane answers, okay? So the imperial system, I think, is just more intuitive for like everyday life, like tablespoons, teaspoons, etc. But the metric system is just better like for precision. And you will not change my mind on that. I think I'm just I'm just think I'm actually that's actually just true. Um Okay. We could do some water parking. I'm not I'm not in the market for a water park yet. What I am in the market for though are some ancient walls and stuff like that. I forgot again. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I forgot again to plug in the wall card. Archaeological Museum. Shrine, harbor. I can measure a meter with plus ten. It's more accurate than missing an inch to a foot. Um. Sure, maybe. Well, no. It's literally, I can't believe, a casual throwaway comment about metric systems has caused a civil war in my chat. Guys, calm down. We're brothers. Don't kill each other. <laughs> yeah. Listen, why don't we all just use our own weights and measure system, okay? I'm going to make my own one right now. Everything is just a potato. It's a potato. <coughs> and it's... Uh, the, the measurement system is based on the average weight of a potato uh, in a vacuum. I yeah, figured that one out. Good luck. Not like, not like the vacuum of space, like in a vacuum cleaner, like, like in, in a vacuum. Not like, not like in a vacuum, like inside a vacuum. Um, all right, medieval walls. Renaissance walls are done. I could get the zoo. The zoo would be AOE amenities. That would be quite nice. It takes 10 turns. Is that worth it? Probably not. Uh, do I want to do theater square festivals? I think getting the zoo is a reasonable choice here. It'll get me amenities in an AOE. If I were to go to my city overlap screen, 
and check the range of this it'll hit three cities that's three amenities for 10 turns that's a pretty reasonable building um ancient walls one turn ay 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 it's your boy potato yoink a free military it's a knight depends on the potato and the stone how big is the stone depends on the potato and the stone Oh, that's for you to that's for you to decipher it's not i made the system okay that doesn't mean i manage the system okay that's for the product manager of the new potato based measuring system how many potato potatoes wide is a hydrogen atom that's a tough one to measure because it's a the the potato measurement actually doesn't measure volume at all we only ever measure relative weight so if you want volumetric measurement you're going to have to turn uh to a different system i'm afraid Stones to potato conversion sounds based. You're based. That's right, I complimented you. Um, so I think maybe... I wonder, can Baltimore reach my capital? That's a fun question. Why did I do? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I make that choice? Me every time I open up a bag of cookies. <laughs> uh, why have I self sabotaged my diet? It's like forget diet, enjoy cookie. Hell yeah! Any cookie enjoyers in chat? Um, I'm gonna need one more art museum, I think. Are these late game settlements really not worth it speaking well i mean like here's the thing these late game settlements are doing nothing for me yet but they're going to be the the primary driver of my tourism this game is going to be uh from rapa nui that's why these late game settlements are being made because they're going to they're here to claim land they're here to claim land and just fill with moai i prefer digestives digestives are genuinely incredible genuinely just good ass bickies i could trade with hatusa that's a long ass trade route you can't tell me you can't trade with washington from this distance oh you can't um so, like, if I were to plan this city, there's definitely a holy site going there. That's a plus four holy site. I reckon we put a harbor there as well. And that means the city center is going there. Would love to get in the water. not viable right now there's a very angry barbarian ship here i always keep thinking when should i stop building settlers in my games it's like are you winning are you winning son then stop building settlers if you're not winning yet keep building settlers if there's land available like just, I, I just need lands to be able to make tourism like that's all that's all that this represents um Right, soon we'll be able to do stuff over here. I'll have to do a bunch of tile buying, but I can get two national parks there, which is quite good. I'd like to get a settler over here, maybe. Ah, maybe it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I do love a shortbread. I like tall bread myself. I do love a tall bread. You know, just a nice tall, strapping young bread. <clears throat> the kind of bread that could take the shopping in, you know? Uh, right, let's go ahead and settle here. Boom, plus three error score, feels good. Um, where did that barber, oh for Jesus Christ, unholy savior of light and everything that's holy in the world. Why am I seeing more barbarians? Right, well I can't do ironclads yet. I may as well slap this guy. Protect him. 
In America, cookies are sweet. Cookies are what? Let's get our temple in Gurdwara. Wait, what took a turn? What did I say something? Did I tick? No, I don't think I did. Oh no, it's the biscuits versus cookies thing. Like, it's not even a thing because that entertains the possibility that the, the cookies people have any legitimacy. Any truers? Um, monument. Oh, the tall drink of bread bit. I gotcha. Uh, okay, so we've got Rafa Nui under control. I don't think I... Probably okay to get control of Levento. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. You can get into the water finally. Hell yeah, Moai Stone, Moai Stone, chop. Um, go on now there, get in. Get on my son. Wait, no, go on my son, not get on my son. That, that has a very different connotation. Jesus Christ. Five dollars and zero cents of your vid sermon whiskey. Here's five USD towards a Norway naval game. Hey. Insane maps. I was thinking of playing Norway next. So thank you. You have paid me for no reason. Because I was already planning to do the thing. Biscuits are what you get at Bojangles. What is Bojangles? Who is the mysterious Bojangles? Does he dangle with his Bojangle? That sounds kind of dirty actually. Let's not say that. Uh... It's to save production. Nigel asked a question. What's the stra strategy behind placing a district but not actually building it? When um, So basically, uh, as the game goes on, districts get more expensive and it's based on the percentage of the technology tree that you have uh, researched. If you place the district, the price will stop increasing for that one district. So like, let's say I place this water park here. Um, its price right now is 161. As I continue to research technologies, other districts will get more expensive, but this one will stay cheap. Bone jangling, the bow dangling. I would like electricity. Getting seaports would open up a bit of extra gold for me. I think I will go for seaports. Um, our dollar too. Zero, zero, which is more right. insane. Kill that. Kill that. The map or Teddy Ruse. Uh, which is more insane, the map or Teddy Ruse? Um, Teddy Roosevelt was a bit of a mad lad, to be honest with you. He was a bit, he was a bit mad. A bit strange. He liked to feck off into the wilderness at random intervals. Oh, a settler! Harvest. Conflicting statements in chat. Is this going to become an episode? Morpus is going to love this edit. No, this is just a live stream. This is just a chill out Sunday afternoon. I, uh, I I feel bad whenever I start a game and don't finish it. And I didn't really have the motivation to finish this game. And so I sat down and I said to myself, by God damn it, I'm going to finish this game. And that was on Friday. <laughs> so it took me to Sunday to get this game finished, baby. But that's okay, we are getting it finished, Giga Chad.
Uh, right. Declare friendship with our ephemeral friend. Wait, did my alliance run out? Oh, my loyalty is fine. Ha 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 ha. Get wrecked. Do you have a video explaining how trade route works? Like, how many do you need? How many? I'm I'm stroking out reading your messages. Sorry, hold on. <clears throat> Speaking of trade routes, I should really declare friendship. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Probably good to get a power plant. Ninety-nine cents of your new series where you share people's stories. Thanks. It's fun. It was uh, stimulating to share people's stories and hear about their lives. Um. At a certain point, I think I might be building too many theater squares. We shall see, though. You can never go too wrong, but you can go too right. That's our motto at this channel that I just made up. Uh, I don't have a video explaining how trade routes work, but trade routes are fairly intuitive to me. The longer the trade route, the more money you get. Um... You send a trade route to a city and you get thing based on what is in that city. Uh, but maybe other people will need a little bit of help. So maybe a video explaining things could be, could be a good idea. I can't believe you, France. You kicked me out of your borders. How dare you? I was so close to clearing the barb camp. Any any closed borders in chat? Open, 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 open. Closed. How long is how long bay? How long is a piece of string? So uh, you're asking a philosophical question there, not a meteorological one or a scientization one. You coming at me with these questions about the facts and nature of the universe and you're not even prepared to have the metaphysical questionality of the world opined? Get out of here. Which civs gives archaeological archaeologists open borders? I think it's England. And I think also if you get the terracotta army you can do that. Teddy's greatest contributions were parks and bears. Bears? Did Theodore Roosevelt invent the bear? The two essentials on which life depends. All right, we got. There we go. This is what we were looking for. So we can come in here now. We can plant the forest. Uh, come in here, plant the forest next turn. Boom, boom. By naturalist. Ooh, this might not be enough. It might be. It might be. No, he invented the leather daddy. Oh, that was not where I thought that was going. Okay. Fair enough. People in chat being weird again. No, it's fine. Um, cultural heritage, not yet. We're not yet ready. Urbanization first. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, God. Now I see. Oh, I see. And somehow this realization is not good. Um, I have room for more great works of writing. Let's buy them. I will buy your whales. Great works of writing. Thank you. Hmm, what would I like to, to learn here? Maybe we could learn settlers, seven turn settlers are pretty good. I still have tons of land over here that I can make use of. So let's crack out a few settlers. Why not? Um, medieval walls. God, at this point, I've played this game so much that I actually, like, I know I say every year or so, 
I realize how much I've played this game to where I can actually predict what the UI is doing and like press buttons before the game is ready for me to. And like exactly time, oh, the diplomatic screen will have like this button here. Um, but it is kind of insane when you've spent this much time playing one game um, that you can actually like just basically play it on autopilot and talk about random crap. Do a bit explaining victory conditions and how to get them. Uh, if you want to win a tourism victory, get tourism. If you want to win science, get science and production. If you want to get a war victory, kill your enemies. Um, does do I need I say more? Yoink! Thanks for the settler and builder. Oh, you sneaky little sausage! Getting up there to put that there. How dare you! Sneaky little sausage. So I only really care about green land, like land that is green and fresh and ready to accept Rapa Nui's Moai head things. I'm having trouble because I love to catch the live stream, but I don't want to spoil myself for the YouTube videos. I moved away from the policy of turning YouTube, uh, live streams into YouTube videos. It's something we may re-explore again in the future. Um, but for now, live stream content is live stream content, and YouTube VOD content is YouTube VOD content. And my game has crashed. It's a soft lock. Welcome to the soft lock. It's a hard life living with a soft lock. My favorite way to play. I liked your April Fools Babylon game. That was great. I really enjoyed that. Enjoy your blasted ears, chat. Enjoy it. Okay, any eardrum enjoyers in chat? Thanks, Siv. I'm never changing it. I'm never downloading the mod that gets rid of it. It's like, it's like the posture check. It's like, ear check! Any ear havers? In the beginning, legends of flying men soared. Today... You are on the brink of transforming those legends into a reality. Best menu theme ever and you've disabled it. Unfortunately, I had to disable it because I was getting um, copyright claim issues and stuff. So I disabled it. Our competing ideas of how to go. Human nature. Archaeological museum. All right. Perfect. I forget what I did this turn in terms of people. Um, don't care about leveling up Moksha. Reina is an okay one. I'll pop her into Philadelphia just for now. Nice work of T Christopher Tin. Christopher Tin's music is, is absolutely fan fantastic. It's lovely. It's beautiful. It's magical. Um, but, you know, I've got to feed the my kids. That I don't have. Um, can't be dealing with copyright now, can we? No, no, no. The people don't like copyright. Copyright is, copyright is anti-fun. It's it's minus fun. I don't think Moai stones can go on desert, can they? No. This whole area over here is pretty unsettleable. Do artifacts science give science? If not, they should. Artifacts give culture, not science. And I think that is a reasonable distinction. It is possible to get science from artifacts, but they do not inherently give you science. They should give science. 
I don't know if they should give science because like if you really think about it ancient like while there is an archaeological science it's not uh, a sort of advance our technological understanding of the world right that's why there's a culture and a science tree right whereas artifacts advance our understanding of culture right we we know more about the people who came before us etc 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 um but it doesn't it's not scientific progress in the in the like technological advancement okay that's it food food as a topic is banned because i'm hungry so i'm gonna have to ask you guys to stop talking about falafel and stuff um because i saw the word falafel in chat and my mouth started watering and i just i can't cope right now why is my gold so bad Why is my gold so bad? Hmm. Curious. And yet your money isn't big. Spy stealing? They can't steal money from me. I don't have any commercial hubs. I literally have no commercial hubs. Um, zero, none, nada, zip, zilch, nine. If you're hungry, eat. I'm not hungry. I just want food. You, some of you guys in chat have never been fat and it shows, okay? Imagine thinking you have to be hungry to want food, okay? Stop being a snag then. Have you played the Ottomans lately? I haven't played the Ottomans in a good while, actually. No, I haven't. Boom. I don't think you have to be fat to have a craving. I was just making a joke, okay? You have to take it too seriously. Some people are only skinny because they never learned to appreciate beer. What's your least favorite sieve? I don't see I don't I don't really have I don't really have things I hate, which is something I really couldn't understand. Um but there are people out there that have like many different things that they really dislike. Because I just don't think like if I dislike something, I just don't think about it. Um so like it kind of blew my mind to to talk to someone who hated a lot of things because I was like bro just like think about the things you do like <laughs> it's like the five head you know giga chad meme or whatever like I don't know just like think about things that you don't hate Uh, will you play Humankind after the new update in June? Absolutely. I'll be playing Humankind. I played a little bit of it yesterday. And I'm, I'm kind of like... I'm, I'm actually trying to hold off because I'm, I'm really, really hyped about the game um, at the moment. And so I'm genuinely trying to like contain that hype a little bit. Um, and... Uh, and hold off for the patch because I would like to play the old, the old patch. The good old patch. San Jose. San Jose.
What was the first Civ game you ever played? I think it was Civ 4. I don't remember. Favorite at least, favorite are very hit and miss, but what do you think of the most versatile Civ? The most versatile Civ. Now, if we're saying versatile, we're probably thinking about a Civ that can go for any win condition. So realistically, there are a lot of Civs that can fit this condition. Um, unfortunately, that list is going to be extremely biased towards people with early game bonuses. So Rome is a very versatile Civ. Uh, Persia is quite versatile. The Kree are very versatile. Um, Khmer are less versatile these days. Who else is versatile? Any Civ with a unique commercial hub or commercial hub building, um, they are going to be versatile. Now, like, here's the thing. It also depends, like, how are we measuring versatile? Are we measuring versatile as a Civ that is in very powerful and can go for a few different win conditions? Or are we, like, measuring versatile as, like, the more win conditions a sieve can reasonably contest, the more versatile it is. So, like, it really does come down to, like, how are we measuring versatility? Um, and so that's what I would say, is, is that it, it really does just depend on how we're measuring that. So if we were thinking about how versatile a sieve is in terms of how many different win conditions I would go for, I would go for sieves like the Cree, uh, sieves like Rome, sieves like Persia. These are very, very versatile sieves. If we're talking about sieves that are versatile and incredibly powerful, geez, I'd have to, I'd have to take some time to think about that one because I'd have to really, really, sorry, I'm hiccuping. I'd have to really, really rack the brain. I think I have to settle here to block their settle. Can I move to the horses and settle? I think I can. Block. Um, yeah, so versatile, versatile, versatile. Granary, sorry, granary, monument, this, ancient walls, harbor, more trade routes. Um, first live stream, been a fan of yours for years. Stay awesome, brother. Thank you very much. Good to see you, buddy. You want to settle there? One, two, three, and then I guess I'll put one there. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Versatility is a utility. I have a cultural alliance with Babylon, which is going to encourage him to settle next to me, which I will then use to flip his cities. Ha ha. We're playing three-dimensional hypercube. People re really need to re uh, re play faith spammers and rethink their top saves. It could be true. Do you play chess? Uh, do you like chess? I yeah, I don't. I I think I don't really play chess. I've I've played chess, and I uh, I was friends with a guy. Uh, I met him while I was playing Planetside too. Friends with a guy who was pretty good at chess, and he taught me a thing or two about like uh, material and controlling the middle, and like which tiles are important to control, and like how to develop your pieces. So I have like a, I would say I have like a very very rudimentary understanding to where I could probably beat like the average person playing chess. But if I went up against anyone who had any sort of serious um, chess ability, I would get you know obliterated, and I probably wouldn't win every game of chess I played against people. I, I'm reasonably good at chess. I wouldn't say that I'm like. Nothing to write home about. Um, but I'm not useless at it. What about 4D chess? I play nth dimension checkers with your mom on weekends, okay? Don't even at me. Um, let's build a water park. It's time for the old Vasa Park. Oh, that was Marbizier that said the 4D chess thing. <laughs> I didn't mean to. You gotta be careful of saying your mom jokes to people from Poland, okay? They'll show up at your house. <laughs> uh, let's get the water mill. We'll get ourselves the granary. 
How, did I not have VIP Marbas here? There you go, buddy. You should have the VIP flare now. It'll be released around the year. God, what? Well. I already won this game. Watched the previous vods, but it seems like I missed a lot. No, I haven't won yet. We are working on it. Um, in terms of culture victory, we're sitting on fourteen out of one hundred and seventy-five. Canada is our biggest cultural enemy. Um, but even then, its culture isn't overwhelming, so we should be able to overcome it fairly easily. We're heading up into the late game now. We're going to start getting all our late game stuff online. So I'd say things are looking actually quite well for us here. I don't think we've won yet, but we are definitely getting closer to winning. Amphora. Trade routes. I'm working on trade routes in my capital. It's a, it's a process, okay? You Like, usually trade... Oh, we'll run away. Uh, tell us the best joke you know on your life your mom had set does not count. The The best joke that I ever heard takes, like, 40 minutes to read. Um, and it's about a snake called Nate. So, look up... Uh, look up that I think it's I can't remember what it's actually called like the actual name of the thing but it's like a, it's like something something um, let me look it up uh, a snake called Nate it's called Nate the snake go read that maybe, maybe I'll do a, a reading of it someday oh look at this gold that's coming in now Who'd Ireland's leader be? I get asked this like literally almost every live stream. And I've never been able to come up with a coherent answer because I have absolutely no idea. Oh, Sumeria like stole these cities. That's kind of cool. Get wrecked. Get obl... Okay, so now I think... I'm pretty sure I have a trade route. With every single player in the game... I just need open borders now with a few of them. God, I wish. Mod developers, okay? Listen up. If you're a modder, what I want you to do on this tourism screen, I want you to put like little boxes, like a little checkbox for trade routes and a little checkbox for, um, for open borders because Jesus H. Christ! Is it an absolute pain in the hoop to sit here and try and enumerate it thanks Eric. hey thank you so much jmb barahona and you know what jmb you're right thank me for my work and you know what the best way to thank me for my work is for a twitch prime i'm seeing an awful lot of people sitting in chat with primes in the chamber ready to fire them off and they just haven't pulled that trigger Type one in chat if you think those people holding on to their primes should drop a prime. Uh, so I, I definitely want to pick up flight and I want to pick up radio. Um, you despise them, true. Uh, what are you using those builders for? Didn't you overbuild them some earlier? Yes, I did overbuild builders and now I'm underbuilding on builders because I have a whole bunch of new lands that I need to uh, improve. And this is the most efficient city to build builders from, so I'll just send them over here. It'll take a while, but it's kind of efficient. It's efficiently inefficient, if that makes sense. So these cities can work, work on other things. How about Michael Collins for the leader of Ireland? If Civ 6 added Ireland, give him bonuses for spy missions and military. I mean, you could maybe pick one of those. I would personally, I would pick like... My take is usually, whenever this conversation comes up, my take is usually you should pick like a mythical leader of Ireland, kind of like Sumeria, um, in that like, as far as I know, Gilgamesh wasn't like a real, was he real? I don't know, but he was like a story, like he's not, he's kind of semi-mythical, okay, right? So you would pick someone like that, like, you know, something a little bit more legendary.
Well, you just got clapped. Cucullin? Yeah, maybe Cucullin. Was he the King of Ireland? I, listen, I need to re-engage with Irish history. Oh, look at these primes. Thank you so much, Applicable16 and ICJ909. Look at those heroes. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm so out of the loop. I don't even know what Amazon Prime does. I think I have Amazon Prime. I think I have Amazon Prime and I don't know what Amazon Prime does. They are just like, think of the millions. Thank you so much, Matt, Matt, Matt Woosh. Think of the millions upon millions that they're pulling in or like streamers are pulling in with, um, with Twitch Prime. And every single one of those is coming from someone paying Amazon for Amazon Prime. This is like mind blowing. Uh, it gives you free delivery. <laughs> I still pay for delivery. What is this BS? The hell? Yeah, of course, somebody decided to fly a low flying helicopter this late in the evening. Just hear in the background there. Um, Geneva is honestly like a really good guess. 15% science boost, which is like 30 signs for me. Hey, Shamos, thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime. You have a couple of good shows, The Boys, Invincible, anything else? I don't know. Actually, that's why I have an Amazon Prime. I have an A for Audible or maybe Kindle stuff. One of those two. And then I have it for the Amazon Prime video. Oh God, goodbye, my friends. Where are my? Ooh, we're definitely settling into the churn. That's when I start singing. When the singing comes out, you know we were in the churn. The churn. Ba bing. Please read my highlighted message. I spent points on it. Maybe Brian could be the leader of Ireland. He kicked out the Vikings and his instrument. The harp is a symbol of Ireland to this day. Hey. Your channel points mean nothing to me. Okay. But I will read your message. Sorry about that. You could just you could just repeat it. Just wait like a minute or two and repeat it. And I might miss it. Um, Brian Brew could be leader of Ireland. He kicked out the Vikings and his instrument. The harp is a symbol of Ireland to this day. Brian Brew. I did think about Brian Brew. He would be the most appropriate leader, I think. He would be like the least controversial choice. Um, probably the best choice in general. Like if we're like really being logical about things, I do agree with you. He's, I, I usually say Brian Brew or... Um, or someone more mythological would be good. Historical as well. Finn McCool, simply for the best name. Yeah. The best use of channel points is when streamers have stuff like drink some water and stuff like that. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you. I'll drink water anyway. Look at... Mm, look at me, chat. I have inf infinite points. So I can always highlight my message. Any message highlighters in chat question mark any god um <sighs> what was i gonna do all right let's think about districts we need to build Theater squares are still kind of worth it. Neighborhoods are worth it to just see. Oh, theater square first, though. I never highlight messages. Oh my god, I just got so many people to burn precious channel points that can be used on voting and bets. You fools, you're so easy to manipulate. 
Gosh darn fools. Bro, it's... I swear to God, I get tired around 7 o'clock every single day. I'm just sitting here like semi-asleep. Channel points don't, don't exist. They can't hurt you. True. Barbarians. Oh, I wish I had infinite money. How close are we to flight? I need to get flight now. Uh, yeah. wow. 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. I'm a... I got... Baby boy... Uh... I got like baby uh, energy these days. 7 p.m. I get tired. I'm like, I'm ready. And then, just as I'm about to get ready to go to bed, 10 p.m. rolls around and that's the witching hour, baby. We wake up, we perk up. It's too late to do any work, but it's definitely not too late to play video games. And that's when my body activates and it's like, ha, huh, uh, I'm sorry I was tired earlier when you were supposed to be doing work. But I guess now we can play video games that you're awake, right? It's like, God damn it, you, you, how dare you? You know me too, you, I know me too well. At 7 p.m. I'm only just getting started. Um, I, I tried to live the old, uh, the old night owl hours. And I think, I think long term, it just, it just, it makes life too hard for me. I struggle. Oh, cool. Nice. Easy ban. Hide this user on the channel. Good bans. Easiest ban of my life. See you later, JC Vastgoid. That one is not getting undone. Like, imagine being such an entitled baby. That because I haven't like read your chat message, that you 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 turn into a baby and you you spam a slur in the chat. Like calm down, okay? It's a live stream. There's like a thousand people watching us, like like or seven hundred people watching or something, right? Like let's let's not round up, right? Let's let's keep the ego in check. I, there's a few messages. Calm down. How the? F oh, a ranger. Rangers are strong. Robert Downey Pooper. Anyway, so Potato, you're my baby boy. Some of you guys need therapy. Okay, I read your names in chat all, the, all day. Some of you guys need, need just need a little, just a little therapy. You know what? Let's go to the capital, actually. And uh, we will cancel this. And we will get the crystal red in store. Well, do I want the crystal red? One thing I do want, actually, is to be controlling um, Laventa now. Because I'm pretty sure the Colossal Head can be built in Tundra. Yeah, that lets me turn Tundra into tourism. Which means I can come in here. Make the water park and spam some settlers. Therapy is expensive. <laughs> Not if you steal a therapist. Giga brain. JC. Uh, oh. He could probably just make accounts. You know, script kitty. Something to prove. Got a million accounts that he can rename. Um. The real trick is to not respond to him at all and he'll never know if he's banned or not. Omega brain. The huge brain. Um, shoot, what were we doing down here? There's like a settler or two. 
in here. There's a certain bit of irony in saying that. Whoa, a wild marbus. Just shrew. There is a little bit of irony there. Vistle banking is quite good. I don't think I need Vistle banking. Like public works is good because I want those builders. What do I actually care about here? I think it's like I'll just pop in liberalism for a little bit of amenities, but like genuinely not too concerned about it. Speaking of purchasing. Some need therapy, some need an ass kicking. Well, back back in my day, an ass kicking was therapy. Where the hell is Philadelphia? Like IRL. My great grandmother was born in County Cork. Always wanted to visit Ireland. Ah, Ireland is a nice spot to visit, but only to visit. Don't stay. You're not well. No, I was going to say you're not welcome. You are welcome. Come on, come all. To the fantastic place of little old Ireland. Um, I, I, I'd say Ireland is like you. You have a hard time to have a. What even happened to the borders in here? You have a hard time having a bad experience in Ireland. Um, you have to really try. Um, as long as you're like not a total buzzkill and at least try a few different things, you'll have a good time here. Philadelphia is near New York City. Thanks. That was great info. Huge intel. Look at this. When the tur when tourism gets activated, when I eventually research flight, that's going to be a big, meaningful thing that I just did. Right now, it doesn't mean anything, but it will someday mean matter, you know? Sajka. Are you a football fan, Potato? I am not. Never have been, never will be. Um, and... Uh, I'm yoinking your city, Bebs. Thanks. Um, yeah, I just, you know... It's, it's, you know... I'm just not a fan of football. Football is just... Ugh, I sleep. It's like, what are you... If I wanted to watch... If it weren't for electricity, we'd all be watching um, television by candle. Some athletic guys with overinflated egos kick a leathery ball around. <laughs> Let's go to your dad's place on a Friday. No. <clears throat> um, okay, I have a spy. Who do I want to spy on? Hopefully someone with a commercial hub. No one has a commercial hub. The best use of this spy is nothing. What D's means? What what D's means? Like D's? Like D E Z? It's just a uh, It's English for Bofa. <laughs> Bofa D's nut. Banactio Finney. Jesus, that's all. I sometimes I forget how unreadable Irish is. Jesus. D's nuts, okay. I, yeah. You have to show yourself out. This is a safe place for D's nuts go jokes, okay? We we do that here. Da, 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 da. Wait a minute. Oh, sweet unholy but Jesus Christ. I never had harbor adjacency card plugged in. I've been missing so much That's very demoralizing. We need to know who Joe is. Joe who? Joe Mama. Just spent 600 gold to earn 100 gold. What? Uh, 
Gaelic football is also entertaining. Tis. Tis a bit of crack. Bit of crack culture. But yeah, I, I just don't care about sports. I'm not gonna lie. Sports? It's for losers. Omega brain play. I don't have the money. Hold on. Literally sell anything? No. Uh, sell my soul to the devil. Come on, let me buy a crossbow or something. Are you for... There we go. Privateer. A privateer my son became. He flew away on the lame. It costs you 600 to unlock a policy change when it's available in two turns. It's true. It probably was a waste, but hey. That's a life. Sometimes you make snap decisions. Plus, I'm tired, so no judgment. Ratio. It's about, it's not about the gold, it's about sending a message. True. Thank you, Marvis here. I knew you had my back. Hey, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime and Ashoka Phillips. Thanks for the two dollary doodle donation arena. Oh, it was euro you gave me actually, not dollars. I apologize for associating you with, with euros. Jesus. Or with dollars. I did it again. And give me my builder back. Thank you. The old privateer five head move. Is that a serious map dong in the bottom right? Let's have a look. Map dong. Map dong. Map dong. Bottom right. Map dong. Not seeing a map dong. Do you think Fraxis will bring out a new patch or expansion for Civ 6 that um I think the lake Oh baby we got ourselves a map dong a wooga Um Culture I don't think I don't think we're gonna get another patch for Civ Six, unfortunately. Um we I originally thought we might, and that it was possible that we might get a patch. Um that that faith has slowly eroded to nothingness. I do not think we will be getting another patch. I think the development of Civilization Six is finished. Um, and uh, the development of the game is done now at this point. If you had asked me at the, the finishing of the new Frontier Path, I thought, you know, maybe we'll get another patch. I, 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 I gave it, like, pretty good odds that we'd get another patch. Um, but, unfortunately, we shan't be seeing any more patches here. Um, so one of my policies just went. Let's continue to build settlers faster. Thank you so much, Hellmoose, for your donation. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm waiting for Civ 7 now so we can start the entire Civ 6 with better. Wait for wait for two expansion cycle all over again. True. Based. I cannot wait until I... The... The ringing screams of my fans as they decry me for playing Civ Seven. Haven't been able to catch a stream in a while. Hope everything is well. The screeching, the the, the cacophony of nerds crying out in fury. Oh, I cannot wait. It'll be a glorious day. Why are you playing the new Civ game? Previous Civ game was better because X. X is just something they liked about that game. Potato, admit that Gilgamesh is the only relevant Civ. Your mom is the only relevant Civ, okay? Obliterated. 
I'd like to see an expansion on the cultural victory. Wow. Culture enjoyer. Oh, commercial victory. Wow. Commercial enjoyer. Disgusting. Let's be honest. Save to peak that too. Why aren't you playing Beyond Earth? Because I'm playing Beyond Your Bomb. Woo yeah. Mom plus. Has anyone. Wait, Jesus. I don't like it. I don't like it when Potato talks about moms. I'm. Well. I'm sorry. Who's your favorite YouTuber, Mc, uh, Potato? That's actually a good question. Who is my favorite YouTuber? You know, again, this is kind of a hard question for me to answer because I don't really have favorites because I have things I like and then things I just don't care about. That's like, that's the giga chat way to live your life, right? There are things I enjoy. There are things I am an enjoyer of, okay? And then there are things I am not an enjoyer of. So who is my favorite YouTuber right now? Um... I really like watching like blood sports and arguments and stuff like that. So I, I float around a lot watching like a lot of the Twitch political sphere, for example. Like, uh, you know, there's a few names in there that I would probably bring up like Prime K's panels. I think, you know, listening to Destiny, scream at people. That's off, always a lot of fun. I love just seeing people argue. It's just like an inc incredibly satisfying experience for me. Um, Jesus, let's let, let's have a look at my. Uh, let me whip out the phone here. Hang on. Whip out the phone. And have a look. Where? What is my most watched like last ten videos? Um, but yeah, I, I like watching a lot of the different political sphere stuff. Um, mostly the people who argue with each other and like get against the screaming matches. That's like really entertaining for me. Um, I've been watching a lot of Linus Tech Tips lately. What? I don't have a favorite Civ. I've been watching a lot of Linus Tech Tech Tips recently. I've been watching a lot of Adam Ragusea. I've been watching a bit of Anticity. I've been watching a good bit of Jumbo Pixel. I've watched a good few Jumbo Pixel videos. I really like his content. Um, Post Ten, the guy who cleans drains. I really like watching his videos. Um, Adam something is quite good. Legend of Total War is really really good. Um. Guys, it's okay for people to like things that you don't like. This is like the most important le lesson you will learn on the internet. There are people who enjoy things that you don't. And like 99% of being a well-adjusted person is learning to get along with the people who aren't actively harming you personally. Okay? Weird Potato watches Post 10 too. Let's be honest, guys, okay? There's a demographic overlap between people who watch a guy draining the swamp or like like the street and people who watch Civ videos. And it's the kind of people who would like sit on their phone for an hour uh, and just like kind of like just really enjoy the satisfying experience of like seeing a thing move around or get changed. There, I am not surprised there's significant overlap between my community and Post 10, okay? Scott Manley I watched the occasional Scott Manley video I think he's quite good uh, unless it's harming the vulnerable uh, yeah sure fine we can extend like we're like we're we're gonna over qualify and we're gonna sit here for an hour we're trying to come up with the exact perfect thing right like let's just leave it as a general statement I think everyone can everyone well adjusted and reasonable can probably interpret and apply what I've said to like the majority of their life Uh, watch Vouch. I think Vouch can be good, but he doesn't really he doesn't really argue with people anymore. At least not that I've seen recently. I haven't I haven't watched any of his videos in a couple of months. Um, I I really liked Vouch when he would get into arguments with people, um, but I don't know if he does that anymore. Um, I honestly I honestly the the real answer the real and true and based answer is I'm just actually too busy to watch too many YouTube videos these days. Irrigation Eureka. <laughs> I don't have irrigation and I never will. Uh, 
It took me three years till I finally hit one hour on Civ 6. Well done. Honestly, the random nature stuff showing up in post 10 and his interesting old buildings is super interesting to me. I'm a la madra akianic la tri kush agus ra age ak obrin she gabra. Do you like dogs as something? August me shake a bra. They're great. Something is great. I can only read some of that Irish that you wrote. Some of these words I've never seen. I've never seen the word canic before. And I've never seen obreen. August. Ta tree kush August ra age. Ak obreen shake bra. Something is good. Ta tree kush August ra something you have something something. Cus August rot cus August rot I don't understand, and O'Brien, I don't understand. Sorry, Finian. Arma lat madra. Akianic. That doesn't sound like you're asking a question. It sounds like you're making a statement. And I'm so used to on 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 ma lat. Does he like dogs? Does he like dogs? Do you like dogs? Irish only stream when? Well I'm the only Irish person here. Like in the video. If you said to start to a DD game, would you, if I said to start, if I sent you a start of to a DD game, would you play it? I'd be able to see how you'd start this game. Um, oh, that's actually a fun idea, but. I'll think about that one. I sent it into my disaster things with like um, a qualifier on it, and I maybe maybe I'll take a little look at it. Only using Irish slang on stream. One thing that I wish that I'm actually a little bit upset about myself is I wish I didn't get into the habit when I was young of talking with a little American accent. Um, I think that's something I I messed up quite badly uh, from just watching a lot of American media and stuff like that. Um, because I kind of lost my Irish accent and I lost a lot of my Irish words, which is a little bit sad that I don't have them anymore. Our tourism is doing well, by the way. We're up to twenty-seven out of one hundred and eighty-eight. Have you ever watched Kings and Generals? Kings and Generals. It sounds familiar. Finnegan's saying, "Do you want to buy a dog? It has three legs and a wheel, but it works perfectly." Ah. A Kianic. Oh, Kianic is by. That's right. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Kianic is by. Tree cos, cos his leg, cos on. Yeah, cos on his foot or something, right? Yeah, yeah. All the Irish words are coming back. It only takes a few, a few little Irish um, words to, to bring back the memories. I feel like cos on his shoe. Or something. Let us send the trade routes to my mind. I just passed 3,000 hours in RimWorld. Yeah, we're definitely the kind of community that watches post 10 videos, okay? We are people who will sit there and do one activity for an extended period of time. I, honestly, at this point, I don't care. Hi, friends of potatoes. Beaver sieve when? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in so they stew. banned Boil great them, artists. Them, them Fair. Rogan. Thankfully, I don't care about great artist points anymore. I have my great works of art. Well, I'm missing one, I guess. Sajga. Was I close? <sighs> I was. 
not. Uh, do those heads give tourism even if they're not worked? Yes, that is why I'm building them. I would not build them if they did not give tourism. What we can do here now is go on and buy that tile, then go ahead and pop ourselves an old naturalist in this city. We got ourselves another national park. Happy days, happy days. Happy days and warm nights. We cannot afford a shipyard yet, but we are not too far off that possibility. How am I making 46 Diplo favor per turn? Can somebody explain that to me actually? Wait, what? Embassies, allies, extra Diplo favor. Ah, uh, that was the income from the World Congress. Was it? Jesus. I was, I was unironically trying to get the look of the Irish achievement at EU4, but I've had like five different failed runs, so my interest on it in, is waning. Did you use any video tutorials? It's, a, it's, it's probably one of the harder achievements to get. You kind of do have to get lucky and play the game at a fairly high level. Um, one of the, the meme ways to get it is to get yourself vassalized to England, or at the very least, appease England right as best you can and play a coastal Irish uh, settlement and then escape to America and then eventually come back and take over England that's what you can you can kind of do a, an exodus strategy I don't think I need any more settlers can you do more Civ 6 tips on YouTube shorts yes I want and will do that time is of the essence is that I just don't, there's not enough time in the day to do everything that I want to do. Um, and I've been having real trouble with um, motivation and stuff like that. But, slowly but surely, we are clawing back the night. Uh, Potato, who let the devs in on our long-term plan? The Exodus return plan has been in the works for 200 years. It's true. We almost outnumber them, lads. Just a few more years. They won't see it coming, right? They're all sitting over there in Boston waiting. They're all waiting over there. And the limey... Well, is limey... I don't know if that's like a... a slur... Um, the Brits, they don't know what's coming. Uh, have you ever played Hearts of Iron? Yeah, I have like 500 hours in Hearts of Iron. You know, you guys, we have this, like once a year, someone will be like, hey, have you played this game? And then we have the discussion about how I, like literally, again, okay, Press X in chat if you've never heard me talk about how much time I've spent playing video games and how many games I own. Uh, Steam Gauge. Uh, or is it Steam Ranking? Hold on. View my profile. Copy page URL. Is it a... Uh, is it Steam Gauge? Is this the website? Is it a way to see your total Steam game hours? Oh yeah. Is it Steam Gauge that does it? Can't tell. Ancient walls. We're about to get flight. Our tourism will jump a significant amount. That's good. 
Jesus, Steam Gauge is just dead. Hold on. Um, is it Steam Ladder? Ah, there we go. Hold on. Let me show you people what degeneracy looks like. <sighs> so my world rank my i'm the 20 i have played more i have played more games i am the 23rd biggest gamer in ireland and really keep this in mind okay this is not stat padded okay most of these people at the top that's stat padded okay this is stat padded all right the realistic ones stop like here Okay, those top five guys, that's stat padding right there, okay? Um, I'm the 4,000 rank in Europe and 10,000 in the world, okay? That's for playtime. This is my second Steam account, okay? My first Steam account, God knows how many hours I put on that one. Um... You guys have no idea. I have played every game you have ever played. I have played them all. And I've actually been falling in world rank. Most played games. Jesus, my total playtime did not advance very much. Okay, it, that shit jumped. Okay, Dota 2, doing a lot of heavy lifting here. So yeah, 18,000 hour, hours. I could have learned to play the guitar and made a band in this time. What was your woodcutting level in RuneScape? Bro, I started playing RuneScape. I had, I don't even want to talk about how many peers I had, okay? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to sidestep that angle of the conversation. We're not going to talk about RuneScape. Um, I was never very good at like actually playing RuneScape. I was really good at kind of farting around in it. Uh, MMOs for me were kind of more of a social game. I'm not an achievement. I'm not really an achievement kind of player. For me, the process of playing the game is about like hanging out and just chilling and having a good time. Um, I don't really like do. I don't like challenges or anything like that. Or I don't like to do um, all that kind of stuff. This is not my bag, you know. Did you beat Nax? Well, like in WoW. Like Nax Ramus? Uh, no, I've never beaten Nax, unfortunately. I think I've been to Nax. And I'm going back when, uh, when the Lich King expansion comes out. When the classic. You could have learned to see here's the thing that 10 ten, that 10,000 hours thing I think is actually total BS and here's why all right hear me out on the 10,000 hours thing right the 10,000 hours oh if you spend 10,000 hours doing anything you'll become a master at it no you won't okay no no you won't if you you, you if you have 10,000 hours to dedicate to something you could become a master but you're not going to just become a master by doing that okay real practice takes deliberate intention right if you want to get better at something very very few people and thankfully i am one of these people uh can get away with just farting around doing something to get better at it okay most of the things i do i will get better at it just by doing it very very few people are like this okay you if you want to get like really 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 good you need to do deliberate practice that means you're being self-aware you're paying attention to what you're doing you're planning your practice sessions you're planning goals you're setting expectations you're um you know 
you have some kind of outside pressure that like is making you get better right you have like some kind of performance coming up or you have like a band or a thing you need to play whatever it is right just sitting there twanging around on the guitar for 10,000 hours you're not going to get good okay it takes like it takes real practice you have to really practice um I feel like the top reason for p I won so I played well absolutely uh, I think there is some truth to that I think what you, you don't want is um, some kind of like you want the pressure that you get Sorry, I need to pick a thing here. I will go with reform the coinage. You want the, the sort of external pressure on you and internal motivation to all be aligned towards like just doing well. And that doesn't mean like, oh, like winning a tournament or beating some other musician. It means that like you come away from an experience satisfied with it. Okay. Sat satisfied with like your performance in, you know, a thing. And then internally, that has to come from an internal motivation. You can't be like, oh, the tr crowd was cheering, so I was good. You re what you really need is to kind of always, always hate the the performance you've done just a little bit. Like, oh, I know I messed up there. I know I messed up, right? And if you have that in you and it's difficult to, I don't know, I don't even know if you can develop it, but I have this, right? No matter what I do, even if I did the most, the most incredible video, I can see all of its flaws. And what that does, it makes me want to do it better. If you have that instinctual drive, you can get really, really good at something. And don't get me wrong. This is not a good thing to have, like good in general, um, because it's not a it's not a drive that makes you feel good. It's part of who you are and it can come and go and it can stay. And it can really mess you up if you pay too much attention to it. So you're going to have to balance that carefully. I don't know. At least that's my take. At least that's that's how it seems to be from my experience with the world. I could also be talking out my ass, all right? I'm a YouTuber. Like, survivorship bias. You know, what are you, what are you, are you going to take my advice on things? Listen, I rolled a dice and I hit a 20 and then I never had to do anything else again in my life, okay? Um... I think we go for democracy here. This feels like the tourism government. I think we go for democracy because democracy gives my trade routes a higher yield to my allies and it'll give me a 15% discount on my purchases with gold. Fascism is more militaristically inclined. It has four military cards. It's not really what I want. Plus, because I'm playing America, I want those extra diplomatic policy slots because they get converted into wildcard slots, which is really, really great playing Teddy Roosevelt. So I'll have four wild cards in this government compared to communism. It gives science and production. I guess communism could be okay here if I were to go for computers. But I feel like democracy fits better with my build. What's the best Irish alcoholic beverage? I don't know. I am not... I'm not really a drinker anymore. I kind of gave it up. Unintentionally. I just kind of... Stopped being an alcohol enjoyer. Um, but no, I, I guess the way I could describe it is I felt like, I feel like I grew out of alcohol. You know, it's just not, um, it's not something I really think about anymore. Oh, I get banned for saying Guinness is an overrated drink. I think Guinness is a little bit overrated, um, but it's not like terrible. Do we not need Christo for going for a culture victory? We're not making seaside resorts. So we probably don't need it. I should probably get it just to be safe. And I will. Guinness is alright. Like, it's grand. It's grand. There's nothing wrong with it. If you like stout, you know. If you don't like stout, it sucks. Will you ever grow out a sieve? Um, it depends like 
for me, being a YouTuber is less about playing Civ than it is actually. I just really like making YouTube videos. Like that's the thing I'm passionate about, and I just so happen to land upon a game that I like like enough to continue like to play as a job, like Civ. Um, but like Civ isn't like my favorite game of all time. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a good game, and I think that I could conceive of a period of time in my future and my career that I just stop playing Civ or move on to something else or, or work on something else because it just depends, right? Like, let's say Civ 7 bombs and no one watches the videos and I'm like, well, all right, I'll figure out a different game to play or I'll figure out a different career path In maybe I'll switch to ASMR, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'll, whatever it is, I mean, I'll probably just always make videos because I actually really, really enjoy the entire process of making videos. What kind of map are you playing? This is a custom map with the Get Lakes mod. Or Got Lakes mod. How are we doing on tourism, by the way? We're up to 40 out of 200. So we are getting there. We do need to make sure that we go through, though, and do resident embassies. I can't remember why we do this. Maybe diplomatic favor. I don't remember. Uh... I still wish quick deals would make open borders deals like for you mutuals. Guinness was the cheapest point back in 2009 when I turned 18, hence drinking it to the point of liking a lot like 280 at back then. Oh my god. Bro. Were drinks really that cheap back then? Ah, oh, it doesn't feel like it. God, cuz I turned 18 when did I turn 18? And zero cents. Can you do some U4 on channel? I think I turned 18 in 2009. And I remember. I remember I was in sixth year, okay? And I was in the reserves. Um, And I went with my friend to the barracks bar one night. We got ourselves a crisp pint of cider. And it was 2.40. 2 euro 40 tax free i think it was tax free alcohol or else like the reduced rate it was 2 euro 40 for a pint of cider oh my god you'd get absolutely leathered leathered on a single 20 you could get absolutely out of your bin on a tenner if you wanted to it was incredible But Jesus, now you walk into a place and they're like, huh, have you got a Capital One Plus Omega Giga credit card? Because you're going to need it in here by, to buy some drink. We charge over 800 euro a milliliter. It's like, Jesus Christ, why would I bother? Why would I bother? By the way, our tourism is pretty pog now. You can see here. Cider was the jam when going bushing back then. That sounds like a different thing to what you're referencing. He's talking about drinking in a field. That God, God, drinking in fields, man. I'm actually, I'm reliving my childhood. Got to the point where I, where I have to pre-drink pub nights. It's insane. Like, man, it just, it just seems crazy. The price is too much. It's too much. Like, fair enough. We need to, like, cut down on the drinking. But, man, let the people who want to enjoy it, like, without it without being too expensive. No. I see their argument. I see the arguments. I will say that. I, I see the argument for the price increases and stuff like that. But, man, still. Pints here in LA are, like, 8 or $9 USD. Oh, my God. What are you doing in LA? Get out of LA, bro. Like, actually just leave. You need to. That's insane. I know I don't drink. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I don't hate it. It's just like it's not my favorite thing. So we're making good tourism. We're getting into now the late game portion of the game where we will get a lot more tourism. Also, I'm really curious. Um for when we start burning coal can we like actually flood the world because those of you who don't remember by the way most of this world is floatable like very floatable 
curious to see. Moved to LA two years ago. Aside from the expense of eating out, it's nice. Really? So we did. What What do you work in, both? Actually, I never asked you that. Like, what do you? Um, I assume you are gainfully employed. Um, because LA, it must be like I'm surprised you would move to LA. Um, unless you had like a really good job, um, or like a really good reason to go to LA, because it just seems so expensive. Uh, watermill, granary, monument, harbor. Moved to LA because of the girlfriend. Before this, I did esports stuff. Ah. That makes more sense. Like that you have a that you had like a, a really compelling reason to go, if you know what I mean. Not that you just like because I don't think I don't think you moved to LA on a whim because it's like if you're gonna pick a city to live in, like LA is great and all, but man, is it expensive? Like you need you need financing behind you to go live in LA on a whim. That's a good reason. That's like a reason that makes sense to me. My dad was at the home brewing. Somehow I was never interested in drinking. How many coal power plants would it take to flood this map? And if I flooded, would it be crashing or game over? I actually don't know. I, it, it's not how many coal pl power plants it, it takes. It's just like a matter of how much power is being consumed and how long it takes. I live in New York City. Bro, people who live in those mega cities, I'm like, why? Why would you live in these Omega... Like, I kind of get the appeal because there's a whole bunch of stuff Why going on. But unless you're like cream of the crop, top so dog, money maker, money bags, you're probably not going to have the really, really cool, awesome stuff. <laughs> I'm just like being realistic here. Most of that stuff is far out of your reach um, economically. Unless you're making real good money. Um... Now I could see moving to like a city like New York or whatever if you were if you had a really good job and you were living inexpensively to save for retirement that I could see that Go to an Aaron Reed true um yeah I live somewhere pretty much as expensive as LA, but I think moving there because at least we warm sunny and palm trees when stuck in traffic. True. Albeit I'm a DJ and Twitch streamer, so it doesn't matter. True. Any truers. I've been thinking about moving to Spain. It's warmer. I would have a simpler tax situation. And it's warmer. Those are like the three things. <laughs> it's like those are the, uh, the three motivating factors. It's warm. I wouldn't have to deal with so much like uh, tax law. And it's warmer. Portugal is better than Spain. I mean, I've heard Portugal is like pretty based. Big European cities and big American cities are two entirely different beasts. That is true because like a big American city is like a concrete, like a literal concrete jungle that spans miles, like miles and miles of suburbia with a little downtown island in the middle. And then you'll have like, whereas like Ireland is like, it's just like a little sprawling town compared to a lot of American cities. It's tiny. It's a little, it's a wee little baby town. To be fair, talking about expensive cities, Galway is pricey enough these days, and Dublin is off. The, uh, Dublin, don't even talk to me about Dublin, bro. It's insane. I, like, I don't know how, how do you fail? Like, you, you're in power for what ten years now, and how do you fail at housing policy on such every single level? That literally, like, y there are people calling for a revolution over the housing prices here in this country. That, like, how do you? How do you fail as a steward of a country so concretely that literally housing, like just there not being enough housing has become a, um, it's become a single issue. So like for young people, people are emigrating, like people are like, it's insane to me. 
like there's like three basic needs that if you meet for a population you'll keep them happy okay it's like relatively inexpensive food relatively good wages and relatively cheap shelter people will figure out basically everything else on their own okay i it it blows my mind that the government is creating such an unstable situation in this country by not just building houses like just actually just build houses like it's the number one thing we need is more houses and you need to incentivize people to move away from dublin like we like we cannot have just one city be the city in the country right i don't know it's insane can't risk building stuff it'll ruin the car i'm gonna go a nuclear take here okay screw homeowners okay you're not allowed to own land anymore okay you lease that land for 99 years and when your lease is up the government can redevelop it for new housing and like increase the density or something because it is wild to me that i don't know maybe that's not the solution but man it is so frustrating that like just due to homeowners like looking after their own personal interest and their property prices that we are in this situation right now. It's like unironically, people are going to start voting for Sinn Féin and Fianna Fáil um, again. Instead of like, I, I think Fianna Gael is done after that last election. I would be shocked if they get in again, like genuinely shocked. I think it's going to swing, probably more likely to swing towards Fianna Fáil because they typically, Fianna Fáil usually get the construction going whenever they're in power. Um, and then, then it's back to the boom times, baby. Ninety-nine year lease is what happened with Hong Kong. Yeah, but I mean for housing, it's like, hey, this house, the lease is for ninety-nine years, or you know what? Just like every like fifty years, every fifty years, neighborhoods are demolished and rebuilt, up to code, blah 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 simple we have a continuous churn we can change the density of housing based on need it's like and it's some and literally anything is better than the system we currently use because it just seems insane to me oh bro look at that tourism look at that tourism mm -mm -mm. yeah we're up to, we're we're a quarter of the way there now it's just the process of getting this number bigger and bigger um a pretty slow tourism victory all things considered just due to the kind of awkwardness of the map probably the best thing for tourism is theater square festivals i guess gets me the great people sooner this conversation would be ironic if you had housing issues in your cities true i, I just don't get it though like literally it's like food you want you want cheap food cheap houses and good jobs like these are like the three core pillars of making a society that doesn't want to like burn down your house <laughs> uh i don't know and it's not like here's the thing it's not like these things are controversial like no, you're on. these are things everyone wants these are things everyone wants Like the unfortunate reality is I think going into the future, Fina Gale, um it's a dead party. Um all of the young people who grew up during these times will remember. And I don't think they're gonna vote for them anymore. I think they they signed their own uh death certificate there. I know everything seems controversial these days. Bro, just build houses, okay? Just build, just make out like build houses. Oh, you want to build houses for people, bro? You, well, yeah, you want to give hat? Like, no, just build houses. Even building, here's the thing: even building uh, expensive houses helps because what happens is the 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 expensive houses, the people with money, move out of the cheap houses, and then the cheap houses house becomes available. So even if you want to build like Omega Mansions, just do that. Just literally build any houses at all ever. Anyway, we go on to the old, the old housing issue. 
it's it's actually no we're not done you know why you know why we're not done it's because it's actually like the simplest issue in the entire world uh by the way we just picked up computers giving us plus 25 percent tourism across our empire like how housing is is literally like there is one solution to housing issues and that's you make more places for people to live like that is the nowhere in any political system will you find like an issue that is so easily solvable in the sense that like it's very clear what the solution to this is and it is more houses like more places for people to live in will alleviate the problem what's your solution to world hunger see that's a complicated issue right very very like because right because more food doesn't necessarily fix that problem because it just has to be where it needs to go right you have to get the food to where it needs to go um okay so more houses okay and then and then it's like then the process is okay we have the obvious goal now how do we get there and like that part is complicated that part is difficult yeah but who is paying for those houses to be built the people who buy them the people who buy those houses have you ever heard of credit oh my god the people who buy those houses the people who will live in them and, bu and buy them <laughs> Oh no. That is who is paying for them. The people who will buy those houses and live in them. Owning multiple homes should be illegal? No, that's... Guys... Let's not give really, really dumb takes, okay? The problem... There's nothing wrong with owning multiple homes. Bold assumption that I can afford a house. If you continuously build houses, okay? Um, until... Even if they're too expensive for people to afford, the people who built the houses the will have to lower the prices of the houses to sell them, okay? This is supply and demand in action, okay? It, it's how price equilibriums are found. If, if the house isn't selling because people can't afford it something in the market will have to change to make that house affordable otherwise that house is sitting there burning a hole in someone's pocket right this is, someone has to find a way um do you have queues to rent apartments yeah it's rough uh like anytime a house goes up on the open market oh um you're competing with like 20 to 30 other people to get that house The most simplest problem in the world to solve is anti-homeless architecture. Like, just don't make it spiky. I don't... Yeah, the anti-homeless architecture thing is, like, insane to me. Bro, your solution to these, like, people not having a place to live is to make the random places on the street that they do sleep in, like, more awful. Like, think think of all the, that money spent on those anti-homeless... Like, you can't even have a bench anymore. You can't even sit down somewhere and relax anymore because there's no benches. Yeah. I mean, look, here's the thing. If you're going to commodify housing, right, you have to, like, construct the market in a way that deals with the consequences of that commodification. You can't just commodify a really, really important need and then be like, haha, the market will handle it. No, that needs to be you needs to be monitored. You need to pay attention. You need to keep an eye on it. You need to check out, make sure everything's going the way it should. It would honestly be faster. No, guys, you're stop coming up with dumb solutions to the housing problem. Listen, there's one solution to the housing problem. And building more houses. It's actually just all you need to do. It's the only solution you need to do. And you will solve the problem. I 100% I guarantee it. Stop advocating for land value taxes. Stop advocating for banning multiple homes. Or you know whatever. Just be like hey. Make more. Make more of these places to live. That is what you should advocate for. And I guarantee you the problem will be solved. Everyone has their like little pet project that will solve the problem but like they missed the the really big picture thing is that the, the the problem just simply comes from there not being enough houses 
What about deregulating zoning regulations? If that leads to more houses, do it. The goal is more. And stay with me here. Houses. Land value tax incentivizes homes being built. Um, I, I don't necessarily think incentives matter. Uh, well, incentives do matter. However, I think, I don't think they matter as much as people think. So I think it's less important to be like, hey, you're going to get taxed on this land unless you build on it. Um, the real use of gunpowder is to make all men tall. I think it's better to have incentives that are like, hey, we spotted you've got like a nice bit of piece of land here. Why don't you build some houses on it? Like a little bit more direct, I think is better. Because I, I, I don't know that those kind of incentives really like too much. I'd have to I'd have to actually like do research on it. But to me, intuitively, it doesn't feel like that would do much. Like the real thing is to just like directly get involved, get houses built. I guess I guess incentives do matter because part of the reason that um, houses aren't being being built is because of people blocking housing development because of their property prices. Uh, anyway, I'm done talking about houses. I got triggered a little there. You can't easily build houses in an instant. You have to make them usable, durable, and financially viable. Um, and also in places where people actually want to live. Um, I, I'm not, like... D I'm not saying building houses is easy. I'm saying the solution is easy, right? Like, the actual finding of... Because oftentimes a lot of the difficulty when you're facing a political problem is like, actually, wait, shit. What are we supposed to do now? Like, how do we fix this problem? And it's so rare to have a problem where the solution is like incredibly obvious, like build houses, M more houses. Okay. The solution to that might not be simple, but the actual identification of the problem and solution is so easy. What country are you talking about? Ireland in specifically. Um, grants enough envoys to become suzerain of a city-state. Who do I really want to be suzerain of? I kind of want to be suzerain. No, I don't care about Chinguetti. Housing is a problem in pretty much every country in the planet. That's actually not true. Housing is a problem in only cities that have mismanaged their housing. In almost every... Uh, I read a study thing on this. Now, I didn't read it very deeply. But the gist of it was that um, in cities in America where... I can't remember what the exact policy was, but a certain policy was followed. Um, housing prices tracked demand very, very well or like followed the supply of houses and or I can't remember exactly what the correlation was but whatever they did um, house prices stayed sane um, so it's not like an unsolvable problem chances of Ireland reunification or is that too controversial um, I think it's a very controversial topic I'm going to like mostly dodge it. I'd say that there is a possibility of reunification for Ireland, but I don't think that's actually good or that we should want it. Um, but that would take a long time to explain. Um, so I'll just leave it there. Like he said, we're done talking about houses. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun topic to continue to get sucked into. I can guarantee the correlation between population increase and house pricing is stronger. That's why you build more houses. That's why you, you, you do... It was something to do with zoning laws or something like that. That 
cities with certain particular types of zoning laws or something like that saw a housing prices did not increase by the percentage that cities like California had. Can flooding bypass the barriers by flooded tiles on the side? No, I don't think so. Uh, stadium. Sure. I got my film studio. My tourism has still increased. We're up to 600 per turn. We've got 72 out of 215 tourists. Things are going really, really well. Let's continue to get our flood barriers. I'll actually go film studio first. Um, flood barriers to protect my cities. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. God, it's so frustrating too. Because every politician is like, it's actually a very complicated issue. And it's a very difficult thing to do. Houses aren't built in a moment. It takes time to build houses. And it's like, yes, you've had 10 years. You've been in power for 10 years. You have had 10 years of this same issue being... Okay, let's not go on to the housing issue again. Let's step away. Uh, is it say Paddy's just an excuse to get drunk? I mean, yeah. It's not really a cultural holiday anymore. At least not in Ireland, in my experience. There's probably some places where like, they do Kayleys and songs and dance and stuff like that but most people use it as a as, a, as an excuse for a piss up if we're if we're being frank and honest and open with ourselves here which is totally fine if that's what you want to do on that day knock yourself out go absolutely rasher yeah <laughs> Film studio, flood barrier. What's the plan here? Culture win? Yeah, we're on our way to a culture win. We're at 75 out of 216 tourists. We're slowly, slowly, slowly churning our way over there. You know, just churning and burning. Slow and steady progress, like a slug. Like a great old slug. A sluggy slug, one might say. Monument, granary, watermill. Uh, sure. Six point six, we'll get a little bit more loyalty soon. You're growing. Can't seem to get away from science wins. Science is a very default win condition, in my opinion. It's kind of like the, ba the backup. Step away from the housing conversation. How about Inca Apocalypse, a volcano pantheon game? It could be fun. I've done that not too long ago. I want to say it was like a year or two ago. Um, God, a year or two ago does not feel like... Oh, God, I'm officially in my 30s. A year ago was not too long ago. It's over, guys. It's I, I cannot be saved. I'm sorry. My bad. I just re I I'm done, and not just on Twitch. Did I never build the Christo? Whoops. I always find culture win to be a bit of a grind. It depends on the culture win. It's a lot of ending the turn. It's a lot of ending the turn. All right. Let's go ahead and buy the barracks. And the armory, and then military engineer. Let's get those flood barriers going. Thank you for making me feel young. You're welcome. I turned 33 this year. I'm done, so it's over. It's been long over for you now. Although to you, three years is not that long. <laughs> uh, watermill, granary, monumental mistakes. That's what they called me. Let us go to the free place. 
Why are you here just to harass me? I stopped saying back in my time I just stick with getting off my lawn uphill both ways. 2022 this year. God, I wish I was. I wish I, I really I think one of my biggest regrets, um, which is not a really a regret at this point anymore because I went and did it, was not starting a YouTube channel at 16 like I wanted to. I waited 10 years more than I should have. Um, what a dumb move. Listen, guys, if there's some if you're like 60 if you're like 15 to 20 okay and you're watching this even up to 25 and there's something you want to try and do okay just give it the old try give it a try okay even if you don't make it that's okay just god damn it make sure you give it a try Absolutely foolish not to have started a YouTube channel before it existed. What are you talking about? F that was 14 years ago. It was like 2006 when YouTube was like... YouTube exi I'm not a dinosaur. YouTube existed when I was 16. Two thousand and six was fourteen years ago, uh, something like that. Didn't YouTube start in two thousand and four? <laughs> Don't believe me, the dinosaur. I'm 40 something quit yeah I think once I hit around 25 the the internal like messenger of like how old I was just turned off and when people ask me oh like uh what age are you now my, my brain I'd actually have to think about it I'd be like fuck what year is it all right let's do the calculation it's uh you know Mercury's in the house with Venus and uh it's I was born in 1990 this and it's currently to, yeah I'm uh 28 30 year olds are dinosaurs to 15 year olds yeah but they're babies to everyone over 40 they're just little oh look little baby 30 year olds and you know what the fucking worst thing is people in their 40s are very smug about 30s it's like oh you'll get old too it's like your back is gonna you're gonna wake up and your back is gonna start hurting mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah sweetie you're gonna have a failed marriage and like it's like okay like let's not get too weird um and you know what they've earned the right to be smug okay They've earned it. I listen to a 90 station and be like, this is my jam. I'm like, dang, yeah. Fortunately, nothing hurts yet in that case. Yep. Your back can start hurting in your 20s. Not if you're lifting, bro. Well, probably yes, if you're lifting. Hey, look after your body. You only get one, all right? There's people in this chat right now who could be, okay, they could have their phone in their pocket, have some ear pods in, and be going for a nice old walk with this content playing in the background, okay? You should go, you should do that. Go change your life. Improve it. I never want to be 20 again. Dude, do you know how much life you could live a good plan with the previous knowledge? And yet, so many of you have thought that thought and it did not start you living your life yet. What are you doing? Get out there. Have some fun. I went for a walk in a state park today and it's so lovely. Listen, good on you. Well done. Get some exercise. It's good for you. Bruh. Oh, I can buy things with faith in here. Interesting. Um, I want a naturalist. And I want to buy these tiles. I actually did some exercises earlier with my friends. 
Both your stream so I can redeem a posture check. Oh, okay, fine. I'll sit up. God damn it. I've been slowly sinking into my chair because I got tired earlier. But fine, I'm sitting up. Posture check achieved. Sit up straight. And have good posture. It's good for your presentation. I... I have I have I have goblin posture. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like I'm a pretzel dude. If I'm sitting in my chair, I'm 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 goblin mode. My I've got one leg like tucked under the other leg. My back is like an S like shape, but the wrong kind of S shape. Did my I actually have goblin posture, I'm not gonna lie. I am the goblin that they talk about in the books. Leg on top of the desk, face... Yeah, that's me. That's me. I do that. I have goblin posture. The worst is when you get too comfy in a position like that and you don't notice, like, your ankle going dead. Um, and then you go to move and your leg is just like... Bro, you haven't given me orders in, like, three hours. You think I'm going to listen? And you kick over a glass of water. Like rebellious legs. It's not good. Are you winning, son? I sure am winning. We are actually winning, believe it or not. 71 turns, 99 out of 239. My maths teacher stopped an entire lesson because of your weird ass posture. That's an achievement. If you annoy a professor, like I feel like that's God mode posture right there. That's something to aspire to. Honestly, at that point, like achievement unlocked. What the hell was I doing with this guy? Go to ching just just you know, just Go asleep. Leave me alone. At a certain point, I'm not going to micro you. Micro. I will micro you. That culture victory counter is a dirty liar. It is a dirty liar, but like I usually count it by like, oh, I'm like halfway there, right? By this number. 99 out of 239. I'm halfway there, so we're getting there. Our tourism is going up. We're going to pick up environmentalism soon. We're in the direction of a culture victory. Go to a chiropractor. I thought mine was uh, beyond help and he fixed mine to almost perfect. Aren't chiropractors quacks? Aren't they just fake science? I'm pretty sure... Aren't, am I crazy? Or is like... I need to do I need to do actual research on it. The only the only thing I've heard chiropractors can actually help with is some kinds of back pain. But the problem is, I don't know if you guys have you guys ever watched those videos? Oh my god. Those crazy chiropractor videos where they like, oh, oh, I scared myself. Hold on. Bro, oh, yeah. these videos make me physically uncomfortable, okay? I don't know how to, like, capture this properly, but... Like, some of these things where, like, the dude is, like, snapping people's necks and stuff. Now his neck, as you can see, is... Ugh. There's one dude who like uses like a bag type hood thing that he like wraps around your chin and pulls on it as hard as humanly possible. And I'm like, dude, you're going to you're going to like decapitate someone. You need to stop. The man needs to be stopped.
Yeah, go to go to a physiotherapist. That's what you want. I spent quite a bit of money on a chiropractor because I slipped a disc a while back. Um, how did that turn out for you, Colin? I, sh am I going to do a deep dive on chiropractors next? Is it quackery? Is it real? Find out now on Potato News Network, the PNN. The best thing I ever did was threaten core, especially glutes. Oh, it wasn't good. Yeah. Honestly, a lot of those kind of like back pain stuff can be fixed through like exercise and stuff. Chiropractors aren't doctors, but they can help relieve pain for some people. I categorize them as something between a physical therapist and a masseuse. Yeah, that's probably about right. Bro, the stuff where like some chiropractors are like, by the way, if I like turn your neck 30 degrees to the left, uh, I can cure your cancer. I'm like, excuse me? What? Wait. I have dollars and zero cents are you chiros or quacks. US chiros can be quacks, but it depends on if they focus on physical therapy or on the weird BS beliefs. US chiros who focus on physical therapy only do so since insurance covers it. Fair. That makes sense. But unironically, there are some like chiropractors out there who will say stuff like that to people. Um, at least so I've heard like they'll say like the reason you need to like boost your immune system by eating low carb omega fatty uber acids that are only found in this one variety of avocado. Now make sure you're also like, OK, calm down. A little bit of knowledge is dangerous. Wait. It's volcanic soil. That's why I can build it there. Miller sent me to physical therapy chiropractor towards the end of my career. The chiropractor made my pain better, but it doesn't last. The physical therapist hurt me, but possibly provided longer term relief. Eh, sounds like a result. Take care. No one else is winning a Diplo victory. I would be surprised. Yeah, no one's winning Diplo. I'd be more concerned about science and nobody's even close. No one's even built a spaceport yet. I would be... No one even has rocketry yet. I'm fine. I just need to get this tourism number up. Or spam and turn. Either way. Works by me. If you'd go to a US car and they talk about an activator limp, Jesus. Uh, that, that sounds unhealthy, whatever that is. An activator limp? Like, the limp activates? What? Five turns until environmentalism. Hey, hey, people. Oh no, my hunger is beginning. I'm getting very hungry, guys. Real hunger too. Not the fake hunger. The cravings. This is real hunger. Real hunger. Um, so once I have environmentalism, I'm going to plug in the cards that increases my tourism from stuffs. What city is this? This is Chicago. The activator is a tool quacks use. Oh. Is that how they get those almonds activated? We're about to activate your almonds. Brrrp. Your almonds have been activated. Please deposit $10 in our bank account. Be doop. I was watching one of your old videos recently. You mentioned you weren't sure why you started your relationship. Uh, why you, you're starting, you, oh my God, you missed a word in that sentence and it has completely destroyed me. How does one gift a sub? I think I have to be in the sub gifting beta, but in order to gift a sub, you have to A, be a member, 
and then just do it. You just you gift the sub. You, you, just, you just do it. Flood barrio. So a lot of what I'm doing is like rote memorization stuff. Um, stuff I remember that I'm supposed to do rather than stuff that's like particularly interesting. Um, the one thing that I could do to improve my chances here is to come to Pingala and promote him with Curator and then also plan a Biosphere for the super late game. What's your opinion on legalizing things like weed and cocaine? Hmm. Uh, what's my opinion on things like that? Hell yeah. Make them free. Make them legal. Give them to everyone. Have a party. No. Uh, my real opinion is... Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. Damn. You know... I don't think people should do them. I don't I don't think like and I and I mean that. I, I don't mean like, oh I don't like you know, I don't think people should try them. I don't I don't think people should do them. Like I mean like I don't think people should do them. Like mo like morally ethically it's like I don't think it's a good thing to do to yourself or your body or whatever like that. I mean like it's fine. You, you have a bit of fun sometimes. You, like you can dabble. Maybe you don't get bad outcomes, but I don't think people should do them. But it's a pretty convincing argument that like legalization and harm reduction is better than outright banning. I, I don't I don't know about that because a lot of people cite the prohibition stuff. Uh, a lot of people cite the prohibition stuff like, oh prohibition doesn't work, it didn't work. And like if you actually look into the like statistics of prohibition at least from what i read it was actually pretty effective at like stopping drinking like it it, re it reduced alcohol and alcohol related injuries like pretty significantly so like prohibition i think the com like part of the conversation has to start with is like okay prohibition is effective but is it getting us the outcome that we want now my question is here is it's basically wh where i come from on this issue is damn is it like do i want less people consuming drugs or do i want the consequences of people consuming drugs to be less like which of those outcomes is better and it seems like right now the consequences of doing drugs are pretty inequitable no like if you're a relatively well off person unless you get like incredibly omega addicted having a drug addiction um, doesn't seem to actually really negatively impact you like materially like from a life standpoint like you probably be able to keep your job you probably be able to keep your wealth um, a lot of the harm seems to be concentrated in lower income and socioeconomic status places. I don't know, it's a, it's a hard, there's so much I need to think about and talk about, but I would say generally, if if we were to do like a utilitarian meme calculus or whatever, probably legalizing them leads to less harm, but the problem is legalizing will lead to more open consumption which might lead to more consumption overall so maybe then then you're actually i think it's a six of one and a half a dozen of, of the other i think we're not i don't think we're equipped i think it's probably better to have them legal but i don't think we're equipped to let them be legal i don't know these takes are so uninformed that's why i'm not taking a hard stance on it what are you what are you stupid it's not, it's not like I'm sitting here like, oh, you should absolutely, you should absolutely completely ban every drug because it's the best thing to do. No, I'm like, I'm like thinking it through. Like, I don't really have a hard stance. Maybe. Maybe. I definitely, I definitely feel like I support decriminalization. I support decriminalization, um, but legalization, I'm not so sure on. That's that's one where I feel less certain.
I don't know. It's, the question is, that's like, here's the thing. I don't have enough time to be informed on that, right? I don't, I don't have a good take. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a good take on drug policy. Probably decriminalization seems like the best policy at the very least. Like we shouldn't be throwing people in jail because they're addicts. Because it's like really, like fundamentally, realistically, like most drugs, most drug problems are like a socioeconomic problem. Most drug addictions. It's like somebody had like an incredibly screwed up early start to their life. They lived in a bad area. Uh, they got roped into like literally anything that would make them feel anything. And now, now they're a problem because they are, you know, whatever they're doing crime to feed their habit, whatever, right? That's all a socioeconomic and a health issue. Um, and like just throwing that person in jail, I don't think that's effect. I don't think that's an effective solution long term. So I definitely don't think the way we address it right now is like great. That would be my take. Imagine telling someone what they can and can't do to their body. This is such like a brain dead take. Imagine telling, imagine telling your best friend that he can't jump, like he can't, like you know, I shall return just like jump off a bridge if he wants to. Like there are certain, like some people, okay, we recognize, we recognize, right? Because we do this with children, right? Children aren't capable of looking after themselves, so we do intervention, okay? Sometimes people can't look after themselves or make decisions for themselves and so part of figuring out what and when what where and what should be legal or illegal is figuring out okay is this person making like a rational decision should we intervene right it's just such a brain dead take to be like oh telling anyone what to do with their body huh And like, it's also such a brain dead take because you're not even accounting for like how much harm they're doing to the people around them if they're doing it. Like, yeah, of course I'm going to like smash, you know, like let's, let's take a hypothetical here. Of course I'm going to smash all my dad's beer bottles because when he gets to drinking, he, you know, he gets, you know, whatever. He, he starts beating up my little brother or something. You know what I mean? Like there are times when we intervene in what other people do in their bodies because it affects us. This is like such a brain... It's such a brain let take. Um, there's environmentalism. Let's go ahead and take... Um, I know my examples aren't great either, but like, we shouldn't think in absolutes like that. Uh, public works. I want to go ahead and pick up social media for the 50% tourism output, which will be quite nice. We're actually very, very close to a win now. Over halfway, we're getting there. Edu educating people on the overconsumption of substance in a very thought out and concise way can then make informed decisions. I don't think so. And I say this as someone who has like done, th like, like I knew, like I knew the dangers of like smoking and drinking and all these sorts of things. I did them anyway. You know why I did them? Because my life sucked and they felt good. Okay? I don't think... You, you, there's no simple take here that will solve this issue. You have... Giving use is a better option opposed to being stuck in jail, but no option. You better off all the concerns of socioeconomic take. <coughs> um... What cheese is best for a margarita pizzas? I don't, I'm not really a pizza guy anymore. I like pizza. I would say I'd go for a mixed blend. Hell yeah. Mixed blend. I really like it when the margarita pizza, um, when the cheese is like, when the, the, the actual dough is really thin and the cheese almost goes crispy. That's like based. Anti-drug programs don't work. I mean, it, like, I'm pretty sure I could probably find a correlation between anti-drug programs and like the consumption of drugs. Um, I 
the real correlation though, the giga brain correlation is that people who are happy don't want to do them. What? How could you make so many traders? Uh, even if you have only one trader slot available, you can just spam this full of trade slots. Like I could do this in every single city if I wanted to, because it doesn't matter how many slots you have. It just matters that you're able to build a trader. When you reach your limit, it'll cancel the construction. The studies about dare. Yeah, you're pointing to one policy being a failure. There's, there's not only one policy, right? There are many, many, many different policies, and I could probably find a correlation between them. It, it, it shouldn't be like, we shouldn't be approaching this problem with the take of like, anti-drug policies don't work. We should be approaching it with the take of like, we should find policies that do work. That's, that's, that, that was the issue I took with what you said, right? Because I could find an anti-drug policy probably that would discount what you said. I would feel pretty confident that I could. Um, neighborhood. I need to research capitalism to get shopping malls. Is nitrous oxide taking over Ireland too? I haven't really been paying attention to, to drug culture and stuff like that. I'm, I just want to sit at home and play video games and chill. With my with my boys in chat. You are addicted to gaming. I guess it depends on like what you mean by addiction. Um, probably yes Giga Chad I don't deny it I embrace it alright so how is our progress coming along I haven't really talked about the game for a while because I talked about random crap 154 divided by 256 victory in 26 turns I expect that to be a little bit it could be slower or sooner. I think it'll be sooner because I'm about to get satellite broadcasts. We aren't gamers because we don't have a life. It's because we have many. True. True. I don't know. I just like chilling. Again, like things like drug policy and stuff like that, it's on housing and stuff. I don't think about it very often. It's not, it's not important enough for me to devote too much brain power to it. I'm, I'm just, I'm far too concerned with like, damn it, like I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get exercise. I'm trying to like keep up with my job. I'm trying to build my career. I'm trying to maintain healthy relationships with my friends, my family, all that sort of stuff. Like trying to build all of that. It's like I don't have time to think about society's problems. The, the hell away from me. Satellite broadcasts. I think we're done with expropriation. Addiction is when something stops you from doing basic tasks, <laughs> like going to work or eating. <laughs> That's why I made my addiction my job. <laughs> no, I like playing video games. But what if gaming is your work? True. You know what? I'm done with the settler. I'm just deleting them. Red America? Hell yeah. Ever play Breath of the Wild? I would like to play Breath of the Wild. That'd be fun. Um, I've played a little bit of it. Oh God, I don't remember how much I played of it. See, a lot, like, dude, a lot, a lot happens in life these days. Okay, many things happen, and I don't remember them all. So 
you ask me if I did something? The answer is probably. Probably, yeah, I did that thing, but I don't, I don't necessarily remember doing it. Alright, we're entering into the grindy portion of a culture win. Did you ever play Red Dead 2? Honestly, had zero interest in playing GTA or Red Dead 2 since about GTA 3. I used to love the old 2D GTA games. Oh god, I'm showing my age. Um, yeah, I used to love the old 2D, 3D, or the 2.5D uh, um, GTA games and stuff like that. I just don't care about Red Dead. It's, it's not my kind of game. I'm kind of Maybe when I was younger, I would have played it, but my taste of games is very different these days. I'm... I'm very strange when it comes to games. I don't know how to describe it. I have, um... I'm, ve I'm very intrinsically motivated by games, um, and I'm very driven by novelty. Like, ooh. New shiny thing. I like new shiny thing. I me play new shiny thing. Oh, thank you for the Prime Silver. Appreciate it. Um, Babylon. 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 Two turns until social media. That's going to be exciting. I should probably theme my museums. I should stop being lazy and we should actually play the game. Okay. I'm coming out of my tired funk where I'm, I'm not tired anymore. Allow why? What? Uh, so we want to match color, but have different numbers. So let me just figure this out. Color, but different numbers. Okay, we managed to do it there. Two themed museums feels good. What about art? The match the color, but not the number. No use. Uh, I need to update my mod list. What's the mod coloration coloration for those relics? Basically, every episode of save that I release has a list of all of my m -m 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 mods so if you're not sure uh, go check that out as soon as you go check out any of my recent Cree videos for example if you want to find my mods they're usually in there I think it's time for Pingala to be moved to the capital and then honestly, it doesn't matter where Magnus goes. Just somewhere random. New York. Buy some books from the enemies. Yeah, I got room for some books. Baltimore. It's small to more. This is 29 turns. It should be shorter than that. All right, 50% tourism boost. Who needs monarchic legacy anyway? 19 turns, feeling good. So it's probably closer to 30 because the numbers lie. Um, we got an archeological museum, get an archeologist. We'll get a film studio as well for the extra tourism, especially important in here in this particular city. I guess if I was really trying to optimize and not talk crap with chat, I could have probably finished this game by now, but hey. It's more fun to talk crap with chat. It's more fun to talk crap with chat. 
Hey, a full complement of uh, of dudes. Isn't the enemy attacking you with the rock mounts? Who cares? It only generates tourism. Trade route? No open borders with Lautaro. No trade route with Cleopatra. Oh, this must be rectified. Hold on. It's me. Um... Do I have room for great works of writing? I do. Music. You know what? Make your way over. So I'm missing Cleopatra. I have trade route, trade route, open borders, trade route, open borders. Uh, Gilgamesh, I need to get open borders with. Let's do a friendship. Um open borders thank you and then i'm missing open borders with you and i would like a trade route with gilgamesh wait am i not trading with gilgamesh maybe my traders got killed yeah they probably got killed that's okay do 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 what are some things you want to do, like hobbies or traveling? Honestly, not really much. <laughs> I don't really care. Um, I'm not pushed. I just want to live a comfortable life, have some dogs. Um, do whatever I feel like, not have to worry about jobs or money. Like, here's the thing. I've, I, I'm doing the thing that I've always wanted. Like, I'm doing the YouTube. Like, that is the thing. That I always wanted to do, right? So it's kind of hard to be like, oh, what would you like to do with your life? It's well, like, I don't know. Jesus, I'm I'm doing it, man. I'm there. Mission accomplished. Pack it in. So uh, I do have to I do have to find things to fill my time with, though. Like, you know, I'd like to I'd like to make more money. Hell yeah. Any more any more money ears in the house? The valid answer. I don't know. Um I'm already doing the thing that brings me the most satisfaction I've done of anything in my life. So, I mean, like, I, it's hard to answer that question, right? Oh, hey, it's Spiff. Hello, it is me, Mr. More Money. True. I just like making more money. One thing I have been looking into is these, like, insane ASMR channels that, like, there's no commentary, no personality. Like, literally, all you have to do is, like, storyboard, like, cutting sand or something. And they get millions and millions of views a month. And I'm like, dude, I could do that. I could do that. That looks easy. Okay. With my knowledge, I could do those things. No, I'm not talking about, like, the... The girl ASMR stuff. I'm talking about literally where it's like just somebody like cutting sand with a knife. That kind of ASMR. Okay, but if you really want to make money, it's long form video essays on nostalgia. That's true, actually, because those videos are bangers. You just got to appeal to the boomer gamer demographic or like old comic books or something. Um Like, if I were to do, like, a, a long-form love letter, like Command and Conquer, or Age of Empires, I stream on YouTube. I didn't... Haven't you only ever streamed to Twitch, like, a handful of times, Biff? A Sunday afternoon.
I'm a fan. I've technically streamed on YouTube once for three mi or on Twitch for once for three minutes to claim my partner badge. <laughs> nice meme. I do remember you streaming. Was it Imperator? God, I don't remember. You rekindled my interest in Civ 6. Thanks, you rekindled my interest in your mom. Woo, yeah. Okay. Um, there's not much in the way of tourism. -y. I think we're just literally waiting. Yeah, we're like a few turns from winning. You know what? This is it. Shift enter. Yeah, I pressed shift enter. What of it? I'm sorry. That was that was probably pointlessly harsh. Thank you. Thank. I, I'm glad I rekindled your interest in Civ. Two turns until winning. I'd like long form love letter stuff. Check out the channel Ahoy. He makes incredible video essays about things like video games and whatnot. Uh, top tier. Honestly, there's lots of ideas on YouTube that are just like easy, cheap money. The problem is that it is so soul, soul destroying to do something you don't care about. Uh, unless you're like extremely, extre extrinsically motivated by money or whatever, or intrinsically motivated. But in how those accomplishments last and how they are remembered. Easy clap. The beauty that you have inspired our people to create will ensure that our culture stands for all time. Easy clap, boys. We did it. I still don't understand how the scoring system is silly. Look at this building. Look at this graph, bro. Oh, my God. No, we didn't. Stop attacking the floor. It's only nine o'clock. You're not supposed to activate until 10. Stop Eve, please. Hey, no, hey, no. <clears throat> um, cities lost, no one lost any cities. Great people earned. Number of combats. We didn't actually do that much fighting this game. There was like a little bit of combat throughout the game. Lots of culture. Look at that culture graph. Hell yeah. Um, player era score. Player faith. Ooh, baby. Um, player gold. Ugh, this gold graph is so useless. Yes, would you like to see squiggly lines? <laughs> Your squiggly lines are here for you to peruse. Jesus. Player score. Oh, look at that whoosh, baby. Still, despite the fact that I, my score went vertical, I didn't get it. Total governor titles. Feels good, man. Total religion founded. Units killed. I love squiggles. We need more useless graphs. True. I don't know why. Oh, wait. I, I haven't been using the watch the game thing. Wonders constructed. Any wonder builders? You know what I wanted to do? And this was the build I did in the in the Yogg's Cast game I did this week. God, was that this week? Oh my God. Potatoes. Jesus Christ. It feels like a lifetime is As passing between Mondays. Um, are rabbits trainable or only... You can train them. We need pie charts. Oh, we need like poorly made pie charts for this game. Show us religions founded. You guys haven't earned that right. I need a Twitch Prime right now or I leave the game without showing total religions founded. One Prime. That's the price. I know there's someone in there with a Prime in the chamber that they haven't fired. Are you ready for this week's Armchair Admirals? That's tomorrow. I don't even know if I'm emotionally ready. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, wait. Let me just double check that I didn't have like an appointment Potatoes. or something. Um, uh, 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 calendar. Tomorrow. No appointments tomorrow. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I need to check.
No, I'm good tomorrow. I, I'll have to. I'll be able to. Go, I'll be able to be. Blah, 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 I'll be able to be there. All right, I got my Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Liblop. There you go. There's the graph. You earned it. What would you guys like to do now? I could just go. I could just go and watch TV. God, there's a TV. My computer is a TV. I could just go and do something else right now. We finish the game. I'm free. I'm free. Or... I'm, this game was like occupying my brain for three days. I needed to finish it. Go buy my groceries. How much do you eat? React content? Time to start that ASMR project. One hour of an Irishman breathing heavily while playing with a fidget cube. Mukbang. Super Auto Pets. Let's do a round of Super Auto Pets. Hold on. I miss painting too. Have you ever had whiskey and a potato in a video and stream? I haven't. I haven't had a whiskey and a potato in a stream. But I sure. Why would I? Is that because I'm Irish you're saying that? Is it? How dare you? How dare you? Super auto pets okay this is for the fans now that shows that in the future maybe take potato what Irish ASMR is like listening to your brother get beaten with a wooden spoon that's Irish ASMR okay because he like hit you and you started crying Maybe that's little brother. Oh, little brother ASMR. It's like hearing your older si sibling get shouted at through a wall. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Customize. I'm not going to cost arena mode. No, wait. Return to menu. How do I customize? Wait, how do I pick pets? Expansion pack. I want to play the weekly pack. Hell yeah. Uh, delete this game. Arena mode. All right. Give the leftmost shop pet plus two health. I hate all of these. However, what if, and hear me out, what if we just went Omega Duck and next round we pray that a really good animal appears here. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if we what if we pray for that we'll be the uh, uh we'll be these the slippery ghosts humankind there's not enough time to play a game of humankind i don't want to start a game that i'll never finish i don't like that i i have to get back to playing tunic as well hmm. okay so hear me out Upgrade shop tier. Give two pets behind plus one health. This is terrible. Let's just roll. Okay. Hear me out. I buy the ant. I should have sold ducks first. I sell my ducks. And now I have the Omega Frill Dragon with the ant fainting. And I buy a blue bird to make him better. And I give the ant honey? This is terrible. Oh, I thought that was the most left animal, not the animal to the left. Ah, okay. So blue bird does not work how I thought it did. Oh my God, this guy has so many animals. I think I win. I think I lose. <laughs> We're losers. Oh, start a battle, not end of turn. Oh. 
Here we go. Now he's stronger. A croissant. Giga Dragon. Wait, what? Pillbug, bro, what is this guy's build? It's my build, but like way worse. <laughs> There's gotta be some transition point here. Like no one's building a good build out of these choices. Oh yeah, this is just the perfect time to get a goldfish. We wait. We wait until next turn to combine the bluebird. God, what a waste. Num, 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 num. He gets that. Dromedary, I'm not scared. Pillbug, I'm not scared. Camel, I'm not scared. Ant, easy clap, I win. Easy clap, easy clap. Oh, the scaling. The health on this lizard guy actually has changed the game for me. Friend sold... If it had a sell ability, give plus one, plus one to a random friend. Now, this has synergy. Boom. Give plus one, plus one to one pet of each level. There we go. Here's our scaling. So, we have Dragonfly. And we have Starfish. I think we get out of Frill's Dragon Coin. It's my strongest unit is the problem. Well, this is just a cheap decision. Sell Goldfish by you. Let me think about order here. Order matters, really. Weak up front. Ability deals two more damage. Hmm. Roll me once. What do we got here? Duckling. Now I feel ready to sell an ant. We'll hold the duckling and get started. It's pretty terrible, but it could work. Ant, easy clap for the ant. The ant wins me, but I beat this. No, I lose. Damn it. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, I don't even like I don't even don't even know what I need to do here. Okay, well we sell the duckling. This thing needs to, this needs a turtle in front of it. Um Oh god, this is all bad. Um Oh god. Bro, where are my cells? Okay. One more roll. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I'm, I'm in a hole. I'm rolling in a hole. This is the best thing I could make. <laughs> this is the best I could do. And honestly, what I did wasn't that bad. I just lack health right now. I lack robustness. I got the damage, for sure. I don't even know how you build a synergy out of this, like, deck. Oh, the Scorpion Savior. This is what we call the run saver scorpion. Now the run saver scorpion's got to go here. No. There. No. I don't have deers in this deck.
Deer is in this deck, so third position is the correct position. Hear me out. Oh. Okay, this starfish is useless, so I'll never get baited into it again. But look at that. Look at those stats. Those are good stats. Okay, let's have a look here. My starfish beats his starfish. I hit the dog with the scorpion. That's big. Perfect. The scorpion predicted exactly where he needed to be. Used to be you put the scorpion at the front. Now you put the scorpion in the mid. I know the meta, okay? I'm not a, I'm not a quack. I like this dragonfly. It's my only scaling. But is it good enough? Another step in the bluebird train. I mean, why not a croissant? Ooh, grapes is good. A bit late for grapes because I'm on lethal. So we'll see how she goes. Giving damage to the scorpion is honestly like one of the worst things you could do. Oh, that's a moose. A moose? Scorpion timing is not quite as good as it could have been. Ah, the cricket. The cricket difference sunk me. All right. But that's it for the stream. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time.